What is up? Playing a, playing a roguelike. You know what that means? I'm gonna win it on my first try. Like every time. <sighs> Just like every time is one thing we know. And it's that if I don't beat the roguelike on my first try, I should refund it. <laughs> if there's one thing we all know, is that if I can't beat it in one go, I should get my money back because I'll never do that well ever again. We know how this works. We all do. That is so toxic. <laughs> There's someone out there who does that, dude. They play a rogue like one time and if they can't beat it in their first try, they just give it back. Look, I don't know what else to say. We all know how this goes. Yeah, this game is uh, sort of like Cataclysm mixed with Zomboid, which is uh, weird because they're the same thing. It's uh, pretty interesting. I It's got very good reviews on Steam as a little, little lesser known roguelike on the market. So it should be a good time. Was that a Century Beer Dark Matter Brew you just cracked open, Tomato? Dude. You fucking know me too well. I actually, I feel like fucking death today, chat. I should not be streaming. I should not be streaming today. I feel like death. I feel like I'm dying. I just like, I've got like a cold. I got a cold that keeps like staying the same. But then I don't help it because I order Indian at the spiciest level last night because I'm like a fucking actual dumbass moron. So like I've got a horrible cold. I'm like, you know what really fucking help out my body right now? All, all of my horrible cells that are barely keeping on. I'm going to blast my sinuses with some of the craziest, most vile shit humanity can put into a delicious tikka masala. And I do. And I do and I did. All right. And I am ashamed about it. Indian food, vile. At a certain level of spice, things become not food anymore and they become differing levels of like mild poison. Okay. And even I, as someone that loves Indian, uh, a lot of the time, and this is like the one issue I have with the really good Indian place near me. Sometimes I, th I don't think they actually pay attention to the orders that say, Hey, not too spicy on this one. Can I get this mild? I think the I think the place just kind of goes like, it's all fucking spicy. I kind of ju we judge it based off of based off of visual if we got you a spicy one or a not spicy one. Like I get sometimes I will order mild and I will get blasted with something spicier than I've ever had from them before. It's every time, and I eat it. I do finish it. I've never been like, ah, it's too spicy. Throws in the garbage. I eat the, I fucking eat it. But like, let me put it like this. My chest hurts. My chest and my tummy are burning right now. It's been a day. <laughs> it's been, it's been a day now. And I can feel the burning of something spicy clinging to my insides and killing me. It's in my blood. It's melting me. Sometimes when I cough, I'll taste spicy. <laughs> I don't know if I like ate wrong and some of it's in my lungs, but sometimes when I cough, I'll be like, ooh, which is not right. That's not right. It's just not right. And you know what's the worst part? I could go for more. <laughs> Dude, if you fucking put some more food from that Indian place in front of me right now, you think I'd hesitate for a goddamn second? I'd be, I'd... Look, it's like you're building up a tolerance. Eventually, my body will stop complaining. Okay? I'd do it again. I'd do it a thousand more times till someone actually managed to stop me, which they never would. What's your current spice tolerance? Probably higher than a lot of you, to be fair. 
I don't mean to like bring you down so I can raise myself up, but I I eat a lot of spicy food. I always order hot from this place, but they have one level above that's like they don't order this section, which I swear I keep they keep accidentally giving it to me. Because I, I, I genuinely think it's not like a deliberate thing. I think it's just like sometimes you get a pepper like that is just a spicier, more powerful pepper than the other peppers around it. And I think I just get that one a lot in these sauces and my body can handle it. It's just I don't like feeling it. And if I didn't have a cold, I'd be okay. But I have a cold at the same time. So like, I just, I'm feeling it a lot more. I never understood spice. It's not a flavor, it's an irritant. Well, what it is, is it's your opportunity as a lowly human to spit in the eye of God. Have you ever thought about that, you pathetic fool? This is your opportunity to spit in the eye of everything God has made and say, ha he he, I do not care about what this thing tells me not to do. I'm going to eat it anyways. <laughs> and if you don't think of it, if you don't think God is real, then instead you can spit in the eye of Darwinism and the concept of evolution right then and there. Ha ha he, I see you took the spicy tech tree. LOL, LMAO. I'm going to eat you anyways. I don't care about your fucking evolutionary reactions to the world around you. I'm going to fucking eat you. I'm going to snack on you hard. Yeah, it burns. Don't care. Choose your, choose your method of feeling good about the pain you feel. Elvolution. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, bro. Tomato accidentally applied the spicy evolution trait to his insides permanently. It's just like. I know a lot of dumb animals <laughs> and we are relatively smart and we eat spicy foods because we're like, I don't fucking care. I do not care. I don't care about this spicy thing happening in my mouth. I, I already ate it. It didn't kill me when it touched my tongue. I'm going to do it again. So like, I feel like many animals have eaten like a pepper and been like, I don't care. And <laughs> kept going. So I don't know what the fuck Peppers ever thought they were going to do. They kind of lost. Cats can't taste sweet and most birds can't taste spicy. You guys think there's a, some flavors out there that we just can't taste and we'll never understand? You got, you know there is. You know there's some flavors out there that our tongues just don't got. And someday some fucking YouTuber is going to make a video about how they got tongue surgery so they could taste the fucking wacky flavors and they're going to start sobbing and crying and then food will be ruined for them forever. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. What if it's disgusting though, like bitter too? Chad, there's one thing we learned from the Brewmaster game yesterday. It's that you don't need a sequel to bitter. The, the threshold of bitterness goes forever. You don't need a sequel. You can just keep adding zeros to the scale. Bitter is tasty. Wrong. <laughs> Bitter is only tasty if accompanied by other things. Like dark chocolate is tasty despite the fact that it has a bitterness to it. That's because it's also accompanied by other flavor. Dark chocolate sucks. You're so fucking weak. <laughs> People that don't like dark chocolate, I just think are weak. 
You know, they, they they got weak tongues. They got they got they got weak weak tongue power. They can't handle it. I like milk chocolate, bro. I don't want to have to. I don't want to taste anything anything else, dude. Give me that milk chocolate, bro. Need milk to water it down, dude. I need milk to water down that fucking chocolate, dude. I can't have it all in one bite. Gotta gotta dilute it, dude. No! Ha 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 Munching on a grapefruit right now, thoughts? I love grapefruit. Though, to be frank, as far as grapefruit is concerned, it's not the eating it in real time that's the problem, it's the aftertaste. And I feel like if something produces a bad aftertaste, uh, it's okay at that point to add things to try to address the aftertaste. Like, I'll put a little bit of sugar on grapefruit. I'll put a little bit of sugar on grapefruit just because I don't really like the aftertaste of the grapefruit, and the sugar gets rid of some of that. But I can eat a grapefruit raw. It's just like if there was things around to put on it, I would. You ever buy grapefruit juice and one sip in you realize you bought expired juice? What? What? I don't think I've... I've only drank something that's expired one time and it was milk. And yes, it was... And I don't mean I drank it as in like I got a sip in and I was like, finish the fucking fight. It was more like a, a half a sip and then the worst bodily reaction I ever experienced. But, um... I don't know. I check the labels of everything I uh, eat and I also smell everything because my nose works. I smell everything. I don't... I, I've never... Ever done that. Not since I became an adult. And if I didn't have the opportunity to smell anything, I would, uh... Extract my juice long before I ever drank it and check it underneath a microscope to look for microbes within the juice and make sure that it's clean. Hire your own personal sniffer. Eventually, someone's going to invent a tool that just smells things and then confirms that they're not spoiled. Eventually, that's going to happen. And I'll buy it. That's in Dune, basically. Haven't watched Dune, haven't read Dune, likely may never. I don't have anything else to say to that. It's Pug! Dude! I love... Love that sand thing, that big fucking sand thing, bro! Huge Pug for me, dude! Seems like everyone has differing opinions on this uh, franchise I know nothing about nor really care about. In any real capacity, as I as the moment I mentioned it, people are like, the movie's great, the book sucks, the book's great, the movie's fucking total beans. Uh, I hate everything about it, the writing's shit, the writing's incredible, the movie's awful, the movie changed my fucking life and the way my brain works. Uh, I, my, my family, my family, uh, I lost them in the movie theater, they never wanted to leave. They died in that theater. They died of starvation watching the movie 18 times. 
uh, the second I went to go and see Dune, my family left me. They all left because they were embarrassed that I was going to see Dune. I saw all of that just scroll by. It was pretty all right. See, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the true centrist. It was okay. That was the answer we were looking for. It's just okay. Seven out of 10 on a good day. Someone out there was brave enough to say what we were all thinking. Dune is basically Warhammer 40k for people that really love sand and worms and weird shit. But isn't that Warhammer 40k? <laughs> isn't Warhammer 40k already for people who really love worms and weird shit? You can put sand anywhere in 40k and find it. Like, you can, you can put it all in there. There is no sand in Warhammer 40k. It takes place in a fucking galaxy in space. You can find sand. God knows the people who made Star Wars have managed to find a planet with sand on it multiple times and made it look the exact same. Sand is everywhere. There's a lot of planets with sand. Unless you're gonna tell me that in 40K, there was so much war and destruction because 40K is so fucking depressingly dystopian and destructive that all the sand was glassed long ago. Which I may believe you. In the grim dark future, there is no goddamn sand. I've seen at least one person in my life go, dude, I wish I could live in the 40K universe, bro. I'm like, bro, you fucking, you're like the dumbest motherfucker I've ever seen in my entire life. What are you, stupid? Do you not understand? Did you not get the whole point of this material? <laughs> you, you stupid bastard. Bro, I just want to live in the world of Blade Runner, dude. Please. I want to hang out with replicants, bro. My guy. <laughs> My guy. Uh, are, are you sure? Are, are you fucking sure? Cyberpunk, bro. Dude, I watched this cyberpunk anime a couple days ago, maybe a week ago. Uh, it was okay. The, the funniest thing about it, though, was that people walked away from it and basically, like, truly, somehow that anime was able to guess, like, everyone into thinking that Cyberpunk the game was, like, actually fantastic. And there was this wild, like, shift of, like, people going, like, maybe I should take another look at um, Cyberpunk the game. Maybe it's gotten better. And then it's still not great out there. It's still not great out there. It's still not great out there. The game's pretty all right, though. Yeah, it's just all right, though. And I, I didn't hate it. I thought Cyberpunk was a functional game that hid 90% of its content behind fucking, like, Ubisoft tier side quests that had zero depth and zero actual value. I didn't run into as many bugs as a lot of people, which is why I say functional. I didn't, I had, I was running on a very powerful PC. I ran into very few bugs. I can only speak from my own experience. But even having the game work perfectly, uh, it, it wasn't that good in the grand scheme. I wasn't ever, I don't feel any desire to go back to it. It's not like The Witcher where like once a year, I'm like, do I fucking like pick it up once more? Do I try to get out there one more time? Like I've never at any point been like, I should fucking get back on Cyberpunk, dude. Continue the fight. Next is Spiral24. Thank you for the five gifted subs. God, Witcher sucked. It's super did, dude, I don't. I mean, unless you're talking about the show, even then I don't think the show sucked. The 
that's like a I don't know. Unless you can provide meaningful reasons as to why you think it sucks, I can't really respect that opinion. <laughs> without like without like some bullet points. I'm talking about the game. Combat was stinky. One factor of a game being worse than the other factors by comparison does not, I believe, make the entire game suck. Not when Witcher 3 has so many other incredibly high quality aspects to it that make it uh, a fantastic RPG. I don't think it's fair to just be like, oh, the fucking combat's bad. Just play Gwent. <laughs> Dude, if you think the combat's bad and that's the only reason you don't like The Witcher 3, uh, go play the enhanced mode. Uh, that, uh, like the mod that the like devs, like a dev of the game made that like totally changes all the combat and makes it like 20 times harder and like way more interesting. Go play that. If that's like the only downside you have for like The Witcher, I would say go do that. Because that's, that's, a pretty solid fucking option. Man, he said Witcher, not Witcher 3. I'm pretty sure regardless, there is a big wall of people that were talking about the combat of the Witcher 3. But sure, we can pivot to saying the Witcher, the original game sucks too, I guess. Because it's a game from 2006. So yeah, it's aged like fucking milk and the combat wasn't great because it's old and a totally different game. They were definitely talking about that. Maybe. I never played Witcher 1. Witcher 1 is really the Witcher 3 of 2006 combat? Yeah, probably. No one did? I feel like a lot of people that played Witcher 1 actually played it after playing Witcher 2. Cause that's when the Witcher started to like get attention was Witcher 2. And then people went back and played Witcher 1 and were like, holy shit, this sucks so bad. This is the worst shit ever. I owned Witcher 1, but could never install it. Ah. The wonderful era of, like, 2001 to, like, 2009, where games, you could just get them, and they could just not work on the disc and not install to your system. And it, it, there was no, cert, like, there was no website called, like, PCGamingWiki.com that could tell you how to fix it. You just kind of had to shrug and be like, oops, dead game, can't work. Anyone remember Prototype? That game, the biggest mistake that game made was coming out near Infamous, dude, because that game actually kind of slapped. But unfortunately, it came out uh, like a like the same year as Infamous, and Infamous just like fucking picked it up and broke its back over its knee and then threw it on the ground, and then like teabagged it. The infamous versus prototype rivalry was lit there. Dude, the problem is not one person could play infamous and prototype <clears throat> and genuinely say that prototype was a better game. Prototype at points was more fun, but it, there wasn't much of a rivalry there, dude. The, the, the prototype, the infamous is like a full on game. Prototype felt like a fucking like like sandbox. It, it was just a sandbox game, which is fine. I liked it. I like prototype. But it felt like a prototype. 
Chad is furious. Most of them didn't play prototypes. <laughs> People will get mad about anything, but if you played it, uh, probably would have continued to make more of them. They made a second one that was immediately forgotten. Where were you when Prototype 2 needed you, chat? Where were you? Because they were like the same game, dude. Where were you? <laughs> Where were you then? Playing Infamous 2, I bet, dude, because Prototype did it twice in a row, I'm pretty sure. They, I'm pretty sure two times in a row they did it the same year. Hang on, let me check. Prototype, when did the first one come out? 2009. Infamous might actually have came out a little after. Hang on. Nope, 2009. Yeah, that's suicide. Yeah, Prototype killed themselves on that one. Uh, when did Prototype 2 come out, though? 2012, Infamous 2, when did that one come out? 2011. Yeah. Infamous 2, I would call almost a perfect superhero game. Uh, I would I would genuinely describe Infamous 2 as uh, almost a perfect superhero game. And to release your game, which had barely any new stuff that was actually meaningful, a year after... When Prototype was already kind of like, eh, in the grand scheme of like a game worth $60 USD. What about the Incredible Hulk? What about the Incredible Hulk? <laughs> we're talking about, we're talking about Infamous and Prototype right now. Where's the Incredible Hulk been? Oh wait, 2005 or some shit. In the ancient past with the dinosaurs, okay? I don't know what you're talking about. Prototype was a fun rental. Yes, I would say that Prototype's the kind of game you rent. You sit down, you go to Blockbuster, and you rent it. Except in this case, you go to Blockbuster and you see uh, boarded up windows and a boarded up door and you say, wait a minute. Can't rent this. <laughs> this place doesn't exist anymore. Wait, man, what year is it? 2012? Aw, oh, shit. This place is already, already closed. I can't, I can't rent it. And then you do your Blockbuster online equivalent, which I guess was Gamefly. And then you Gamefly the game instead. You use Gamefly. Yo, let's be honest, though. Gamefly fucked. <laughs> Yo, let's all be, let's be real about something though. Gamefly fucked. Okay. Fucking love that shit. Gamer score padding tool. Dude, once I got around to like having Gamefly, that was when my brain finally was like, Achievements are nothing. They're worthless. Uh, I want to get through as many games as possible and enjoy as many things as possible. And I just started beating games and sending them out. There's so many good games that, like, truly I would have never installed and played on my, like, PS3 at the time, if not for Gamefly. Pretty sure I Gamefly Dark Souls. <laughs> I literally think I Gameflyed Dark Souls. Yeah, I think I did. Gamefly, Dark Souls. Uh, oh boy. I think. I, I think yeah, I Gamefly. I think I did not Gamefly New Vegas, mainly because I think I I think I went straight to doing New Vegas on my PC because I was like mods are epic, bro. Even though uh, my PC was so old <clears throat> at that point in time. Mass Effect 1 and 2. I've never played Mass Effect 1, and I may never play Mass Effect 1. I may never. 
What I did was what many people that have played Mass Effect 2 in reality did, and that's look up on YouTube the plot of Mass Effect 1 and watch it as a video called Mass Effect 1 The Movie. And watch all the cutscenes. And then I kick back, save a bunch of money, save a bunch of time, and then play Mass Effect 2, which is one of the best games ever made. Easy, best decision I made in my life. Mass Effect 2 is mid fucking wrong. <laughs> wrong. Wrong, dude. Wrong. Two was terrible? All right. If we're doing this again, explain. Instead of just saying two was terrible, I want to know why. Terrible. Not, not even mid. That person went to terrible. I want to know. have to know I feel like at a certain point people genuinely carry their dislike for a brand and or dev team like they see how bad Anthem was and they know that Bioware now is a husk of itself and they carry that back in time with them to games that when they came out were truly critically acclaimed for good fucking reason and they will just go like because of how things are now, <clears throat> I hate that game in the past. I think that's a genuine thing. I truly fear for Bio for Dragon Age 4. I don't think that game's actually going to be anything at all. I think that's... I have zero trust that EA can do anything at all. At all, dude. Retroactive hatred. I think it's a genuine thing. I think to some extent, it's like a subconscious thing more more than anything. I, I, I genuinely think it's like subconscious. Because damn, when that game came out, that was like the shit. That was the shit. It's warranted? I don't think it's warranted. I think judging a game based off of the current state of the company that made it, judging the product like fucking truly 10 years after it came out or some shit is wild because of the stuff that's happening now with it. But maybe I'm just a bozo. I, I'm guilty of feeling that way for Blizzard games. I'll never play anything by them again. I definitely think that there's, with something like Blizzard, I can definitely get, because with the case of Blizzard, that's like a, there's a moral perspective there with Blizzard of like, there's a lot of fucked up shit that happened behind the scenes. It isn't just bad game development. There is actual genuine fucked up crap that happened in there and that can make you feel dirty and make you feel like you don't like you don't want to think about that crap so like i kind of get that for like that kind of thing but like just like game devs don't make good games anymore old games bad too bro ea sucks bro i don't know People dump on, I've seen, I've seen it multiple times, which is why I'm kind of fixating on it, of like people being like, Mass Effect 2 sucks. And then like they don't, I haven't seen like the actual reasons why. <laughs> I don't see, I never see the, the reasons why. EA does suck though. Oh, we all know EA sucks. No, that's not it. That's like an ice cold take. You pick that up and it burns your hand, not because it's hot, but because it's like cold, like liquid nitrogen. It burns to touch it. Honest question though, do you see Microsoft buying them out as a reset for all the horrible shit they did or will you never support them again? Buying out who? Um, Blizzard? Is that, did Microsoft buy Blizzard? 
I think that there is a there's a level of like, did they oust all of the fucking people that did this gross shit? And did they actually make an effort to improve conditions at their workplace? But to my knowledge to this day, uh, they have they have not. <laughs> <laughs> so I do not think so. I don't I don't think so. I'd be playing any more of their games on stream. That's for sure. Uh As long as I can hear that Bobby is still involved in their fucking company, that place is poison because he is poison to to basically any brand he touches at this point to me because he's fucking scum. What's up, Benji? We were just talking about the state of online industry, game, game industry entertainment. How you doing, man? Thanks for coming on. Thanks for coming on by. Microsoft doesn't own them yet. The merger hasn't gone through. Wasn't there like a thing where like the reason the merger didn't go through is because like or at least part of it was because a bunch of fucking other companies are raising a stink because they think that that would give Microsoft an unfair like monopoly on the industry. Because I saw at one point there was a thing about like Sony being like, um, COD is like a big deal. And I kind of get it. Like, a lot of people are like, LOL, dude, pathetic. And it's like, I do kind of get it. It's a fair observation to make to some extent, although I do think that that's not really Sony's brand, and a lot of people that are buying PS5s aren't buying it to play COD. I think they're buying them to play Sony's actual first-party products at this point because that's where Sony's actual brand is now. But it's a valid fucking complaint to have, I think. But then again, I mean, this is, it's all, it's all, I don't know. I don't think it's going to affect the industry that much if Sony buys Activision or Blizzard or whatever. Imagine Blizzard under EA. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be epic. I'd fucking love that, dude. Dude, I, I just love, you see, one of my favorite things from EA now is like every season they put out like a new FIFA game or a new sports game. And I'll go on to like a, like a gaming website every once in a while just to see like news. Cause I don't, that's like the only way to keep track of that shit for me. And I just love seeing like a new FIFA quote unquote game come out. And every time somebody who you know plays a ton of sports, like, games and reviews a ton of sports games just puts out a review that says EA's fucking released another dirty stinker right under the floor of all of their diehard fans and really frankly I've had enough of it and you go back to the year before it's like the day of reckoning is coming for EA if they do not improve their product soon the audience will be gone and the money will be gone the time is now for EA to iterate a product on the ne the next release of their product better be the real one dude because I swear to god and like a year before that's like this one fucking sucks so much eggs and it keeps getting worse I don't understand <laughs> it's like it's actually really fun to watch <laughs> And then, like, I saw one for, like, a like the Switch FIFA game that came out, like, a day later. And it was just, like, EA has insulted every single Switch user and Nintendo by releasing this product on their storefront. EA has insulted everyone. They've chosen violence, and I've had enough of it. Microsoft has quantity, Sony has quality in studios. It, I mean, they have quality in studios, but they also like quantity to some extent. Case in point, the fucking, dude, I, I truly am baffled that they re-released Last of Us. <laughs> like, I, I, apparently it's not bad, but I truly am baffled by that one. That one baffled me. Like, it was already available on PS5. The, all PS4 games are backwards compatible on the PS5. People keep buying it for a cool $70 USD. For a cool 
I love money. I fucking love money, dude. Need more Skyrim releases? Truly. Meanwhile, Bloodborne rots. <laughs> Don't worry, chat. They just lost it. They lost it. They lost it. It's lost somewhere. It's not that. Yeah, it's not that Sony doesn't want to release it. It's that someone fucking lost it. The code is lost in a filing cabinet somewhere. Metal Gear Solid 4 when? Now here's the thing. I love Metal Gear Solid. I've played all of the games. I don't think people really want Metal Gear Solid 4. <laughs> you, you think you want Metal Gear Solid 4, but you don't you don't really know what you want, dude. There's a reason that one stays hidden on PS3. You're buying a 50-hour movie with eight hours, maybe seven hours of actual gameplay. And I'm not joking when I say that. There's seven hours of game inside of 50 hours of cutscene. I truly am curious what the speedruns of Metal Gear Solid 4 are like, because if you skip all the cutscenes, it is microscopic. Just watch it on YouTube. <laughs> Watch it on YouTube, dude, and then go play Snake Eater again. What's wrong with that? Oh, did I say 50 hours of cutscenes of, like, actual carefully crafted, like, cinematic set pieces? No, no, no. What I meant to say was seven hours of gameplay, maybe seven to eight hours of, like, actual real cutscenes, and then another 32 hours or so of PowerPoints. I meant to say PowerPoints. I know I said cutscenes. I meant to say PowerPoints. Where they explain the lore like it's a Wikipedia scroll. It's why I'm more thankful now that Kojima gave up <laughs> on telling plots that make sense in any... He tried to make his nonsensical sneeze of a plot make sense in Metal Gear Solid 4 by explaining it. And by explaining it, he just made everyone angry because they were like, what the fuck is this crap? I don't fucking understand. In every one of these... At the end of every single one of these PowerPoints, we just cut back to someone cooking eggs. Dude, I've had enough of it. So now in the new games, he hides it all behind like dialogue, like uh, like tapes in Metal Gear Solid Five, and in Death Stranding, uh, you just have Die Hard Man. <laughs> you, got, you got Die Hard Man, and like a baby. I'm not joking about the egg thing. <laughs> I'm not joking about the egg thing. There's a lot. It cuts a lot to the eggs being cooked. God, I, 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 I played through that game many times, which is why I remember all of it. That's why I can say this all so confidently. Look, the best... Look, Metal Gear Solid 4 is genuinely, of all the Metal Gear games, the one that would never be, like, updated, but could use the update the most of, like, how do we clean this up? Because what it needs is a director's cut. And by that, I mean the director uh, forced to cut things out of his game. It needs it badly. It needs it really bad. <laughs> we need to cut the director out. That said, I'm in like the, I don't know if I'm in the minority anymore. I know that like Death Stranding is a really divisive game uh, for a lot of people, but I'm in like the position now, years after playing it, where I'm like Death Stranding slapped so fucking hard and I never really appreciated how much I fucking loved that game until like I had walked away from it months away.
months and months away, only then do I look back at it and go like, fuck, that game actually sits in my head all the time. And whenever I'm walking doing anything in another game, I'm like, fuck, it'd be a lot more fun if I was doing this in Death Stranding right now. It was divisive. Oh, yeah, when that game came out, people were like, walking simulator, bro, $70 walking sim. Kojima took a big L on this one, dude. Lots of people hate that game. And I think that a lot of those, a lot of the criticisms of it were valid. But if you give that game a chance and it seems like the kind of game that appeals to you, that game is genuinely beautiful. Like, like truly, I fucking absolutely adore Death Stranding. I'm waiting another couple years and then I'll play the director's cut. I just want to like be out of my, like my brain a little bit more. And for as much of a fucking incohesive fucking garbage plot that it was, much like all Kojima games and plots, that one still, I was able to walk out of it with like a, cause Kojima, look, Kojima does this thing in his plots where he puts one plot that's like the uh, plot that people are meant to follow and then the plot that is fucking total garble that not a single person will ever truly understand that's just there so people can have question marks over their heads while he makes funny cutscenes. Okay? And if you follow the plot you're meant to follow and care about, it's actually a really beautiful story. But then there's like a... Like, 70% of it is all garbled. <laughs> so, so it's really, the best part of that game is still like the gameplay and like exploring the world and stuff. But I really do like Death Stranding. But I would be the first to tell you it's not for everyone. I miss being able to drink Monster. The trailer slapped though. The soundtrack in that game is truly fucking awesome. Uh, that's that's the thing I think a lot of people also did give it credit for this track in that game like the OST is amazing You want to know what I actually think was the weakest part of that game How much you focused on just bringing in random celebrities for all of the actual characters I don't know why but having like fucking Norman Reedus as the main character was like actually the thing of it that I was like I don't know dude <laughs> I don't like I don't know, dude. I, I'm not sure, Norman. I'm just not sure. Mads, Mads actually was awesome in it, though. It was mainly Norman that I didn't really click with. I thought he... I don't think he... Look, and I'm not an actor. But I will critique actors all I want because they can't, they don't know me, nor do they care about what I say. But I don't think Norman actually acts ever. I don't think he acts. I don't think he's acted once in his life. I think he does the same thing that people like The Rock do, which is play themselves. He just plays himself. He's doing the Vin Diesel. Where you're playing him, you're just playing yourself. To be fair, Sam is not a very deep character. Yeah, he's not. He's really like, they really don't care about him. Like the whole plot really doesn't care about him. He could be replaced with anyone and the plot would still function and be really good. He's really nothing to the plot. Isn't that kind of the point? At a certain point, if you're not going to write a character for your main character, make him a like a Gordon Freeman. Okay? Like, if you're going to take away so much detail from a character and make them nothing, double down and make them nothing. You know? Because Death Stranding could have been a self-insert kind of game, and I think it would have worked for it really well. In retrospective, Gordon Freeman is a psycho. Oh yeah, no one just, dude, no one has a switch that flips in their head when an alien invasion happens because of something they did, and they go, well, 
Crack's neck. Time to kill everyone and everything that I see for the next fucking 20 hours with this crowbar in my hand. Like, like no one does that. No one just like, he, he went to, he, he got a degree in like physics. This guy, like, I'm sorry, dude. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Well, ah, doom guy psychology. Yeah, but doom guy's doom guy. You can't, I just, it's harder to get into it when instead of doom guy being a guy who like is already a soldier, when doom guy is instead, before he was doom guy, he was a fucking like total dweeb. <laughs> he was a fucking dweeb that, that fucking like pushed pencils in like an office building. You know? Did you see there's a new RimWorld DLC coming up this month? Will it add even more obnoxious extra bullshit I have to babysit? Keeping me from actually playing and progressing the video game? Like the religion one did? Like babies. Oh good, the one thing I was really hoping I could add to my ever-expanding list of obnoxious bullshit that my fucking civvies will do day to day while they have mental breakdowns. I, I'm glad now I also need to tell them to feed their babies as they starve. At least I can finally, at least when that happens, I can finally reenact the crypto plan <laughs> on stream and that'll be a really fun stream. I'll do the crypto plan. I'll harvest their brains just like they did just like they did in fucking Metal Gear Solid Revengeance. Just like they did in Revengeance. I'll just have a big wall of children brains. All harvesting cryptocurrency for me, Tomato Gaming. Look, I like RimWorld, okay? But whenever I play it, I long for Dwarf Fortress because Dwarf Fortress doesn't... The dwarves in Dwarf Fortress, at the very least, don't constantly need me to coddle them and tell them it's going to be okay while they piss and shit their diapers. <laughs> it's just exhausting. It's just exhausting. Like, I'm so tired of every time I play RimWorld, because you know it's a toxic relationship, and I'm back there once every couple months, and I, like, one fucking guy says one mean thing to another guy, and then these two fully grown men enter a tantrum spiral where one of them is murdering their friend, and the other one just pissed themselves in the middle of a hallway and then fell into the piss and passed unconscious for the next five days straight. Like, because one of them said the other one smelled. <laughs> like <laughs> it's just so tiring you know what doesn't turn on you factories that's exactly what I'm saying happy 227 factories factorio you know what doesn't fucking turn on you and have a mental break your goddamn conveyor belt okay it doesn't turn on you and have a mental break it just works okay But yeah, no, I'll probably play the expansion when it comes out. I may not do it like day one, though, because honestly, one thing I learned from playing, because I played Ideology day one. And I'll tell you what I learned from that. Playing RimWorld without mods is the most agonizing thing I could think of. <laughs> there's not, there's, there, there's truly nothing I could imagine uh, is more painful than playing RimWorld without the 90 quality of life things that the game is just missing. I kind of hope this new one adds more music. There's mods that add music. That's pretty good. But um, ideology was just obnoxious because like, RimWorld, your survival relies on you bringing in new people. And those people are already finicky enough to get integrated into your society. And when you add the factor of them joining a cannibal cult and just be like knowing they're joining a cannibal cult, I never hit it. Like, to be clear, there was human meat dangling from the ceiling. But to know and willingly join my cannibal cult and then be like, I don't really want to eat this. I don't really want to eat this human meat after all, guys. Can you guys make me something that's like, not this? 
is just like, shut the fuck up. How long is it gonna, and then they have a mental break because it takes like fucking two weeks to like convert them to your thing. Like I, it was just like, it added an extra layer of like the step of like being a toxic asshole that imprisons new visitors and then make, adds them to the colony where now when I imprison someone, I have to first convert them to my religion and then trick them into joining me. It was just like one extra step of obnoxious bullshit. I couldn't, I couldn't, I just couldn't. So hopefully whatever they add in this DLC, hopefully these babies don't like also like go like, I don't want to eat people. I'm getting, I, I don't want to do that. I like Jesus. I like Jesus Christ. I don't want to do this. I like Jesus. I don't want to hear that from those goddamn babies. I swear to God, I will harvest their organs and throw them in the dumpster. I swear to God, I will do it. <laughs> I swear to God, I will. Minus 15 mood didn't get pressed fed at a table. <laughs> Dude, the, I, you know these babies are gonna have moods. You know they're gonna get pissed off, dude. You know the, oh my God. Chat, here's the only thing that comes out of this fucking RimWorld DLC. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be people getting babies and then the baby cries one time and people have mental breaks. So the, the person playing is just gonna take that baby and be like, I'm, done with you and they're gonna just throw them into the wild like this is going to happen you know no one that plays RimWorld wants to suffer that much there's already enough garbage happening I will dump those babies in the fucking woods it's horrible Does that mean there will be children? According to the people talking about the DLC, yes. Uh, there's a baby on the character in the promotional thing. So I'm going to assume, I don't see why they would show it otherwise. So yeah, it would make sense to me. And it is something that's been missing from the game. But the thing is, again, the adults already act like babies. I thought I was playing with babies all along. I, I thought it was always babies. I was convinced they were all babies from the start to finish. So now there's just even smaller babies <laughs> that I guess maybe the only bonus I can imagine is that these babies won't understand how bad they got it and maybe they'll shut the fuck up. Cause babies don't know that they don't have a Nintendo Switch. You know what I mean? They don't know what a Nintendo Switch is. So they're not gonna be like the adults that are like, I want a Nintendo Switch or I'm gonna fucking kill someone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill someone. I'm gonna murder a bunch of people. I'm gonna break our only food source. I'm gonna kill the entire to colony, dude. Like at the very least, the baby will just go like, wah, I shit my pants. And then like 20 people around them all go, I saw a baby sh fucking shit their pants so hard. It smells, it smells throughout the entire colony, dude. I'm gonna kill someone. I'm, I'm gonna kill the food source. I'm gonna starve us all out. I'm gonna kill everyone. So like, that'll at least be like, you know, at least it won't be the baby's fault. I mean, it'll be the baby's fault, but they won't, it won't be a malicious thing. They won't have mental breaks, I hope. <laughs> it's adding gene modding. Could probably just make your pawns into unfeeling drones. Ah, it's just like, they shouldn't need to be unfeeling drones to be, like, not the most obnoxious sh thing in the world. I see people playing RimWorld with, like, 40 pawns, and I'm like, my god. How in the hell? You can't be having fun. <laughs> you, it can't be fun to have 40 pawns. I wish my fortress had that few dwarves. Well, at least with Dwarf Fortress, like, you can genuinely forget about dwarves, and they will, they'll have their bullshit, but they kind of keep it to themselves until it gets really bad. So, like, it's a little bit less obnoxious. 
dwarves kind of chill out a little bit better. They're usually happy if you give them beer and feed them. They're happy. And then they see a dead body and they go, oh, yeah, pick up their axe and kill 18 people because of it. They smell the smell of a corpse and they go, oh, yeah. And then they go ahead and kill half of the colony. And that's okay. They get to do that because they were chill for so long. <laughs> Neuron activation upon seeing a corpse. It, it, that's the thing. Rimworld has a lot of obnoxious baby people. Dwarf Fortress has is always Joker moments. Like Dwarf Fortress does Joker moments where like one minute a dwarf is totally fine and then they have one bad day. There's one bad day and all of a sudden that dwarf is like, I need baby teeth. What? What was that, John? I need baby teeth. I'm sitting here at the blacksmith. I want to make a legendary tool out of baby teeth. If I don't get this, I'm going to start killing people until I get baby teeth. Oh, John, I don't, I don't even know if baby teeth was in the game, John. Um, I need them so I can make a legendary tool out of baby teeth. Can we, like, take normal teeth? Take animal teeth, maybe? No. Dwarven baby teeth now. You have 24 hours. <laughs> In 24 hours, the teeth will, they will be obtained with or without you. I had a dwarf make a thrown out of their own father once. <laughs> dwarf fortress is wacky, dude. I can't, I, I, they're making the Steam version soon. It'll be out on Steam soon and I will play it. Day one. That'll be a day one play. I'm ready. I've been ready. Soon, dude. Soon. <sighs> Nurse. Any day now. Nurse. Please. Dude, I'm in my tw I'm in my late twenties now. It's no longer early twenties. I'm I'm 26. I'm officially in late 20s. I I count it like that. It's not mid 20s. It's late 20s. I'm dying. I'm now grappling with the reality that some things will not happen before I fucking die and am in the dirt. And Dwarf Fortress is one of them. The time is subjective, me. Time is time is not subjective. I look at my withering body, it, it, it's happening. It's not subjective anymore. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> nurse, any day now, nurse. In my lifetime, I'll be able to play Dwarf Fortress with a good tile set instead of the horrible sneezes that have been released for the last couple decades. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to all the other Dwarf Fortress tile sets, but holy shit, they all look awful. I fucking hate all of them. <laughs> I hate all of them. I want the good one. Give me the good one now. So picky. It's not so much for look chat. I play Dwarf Fortress on fucking ASCII. Okay, but you, that's right, I'm, I'm pointing at you, couldn't fucking handle it. You couldn't fucking handle it. I can't stream Dwarf Fortress on fucking ASCII. You couldn't fucking handle it, okay? So when I say I want a good tile set, I mean I want one that people won't whine about the whole time I'm streaming the game. Okay? Okay? CDDA is as far as I go. Dude, but if you're basing it off of my CDDA streams, you're damn right I need to wait for the best Dwarf Fortress tile set to release on Steam because that's that's the best one on Kata. Still to this day. Aside from like Ultica, which only supports like one mod. So like if you're like, yeah, dude, you're pushing it already with CDDA, dude. I'm like, yeah. 
Yeah. All right, chat. I'm so tired of undead people. I would switch off of undead people the second it supports, uh, second another one supports Sekronom. But as far as I'm concerned with CDDA, uh, I play with Sekronom and I won't fucking play it without support for that tile set. And unfortunately, Undead People is the only one that supports Sekronom, to my knowledge. Bro! Someone was pasting stuff about Jesus Christ. Good old JC. Dude, I love that guy. Fucking play b-ball with him every weekend. Every weekend. And praise me. Praise me. JC Denton, what a shame. Dude, I love JC Denton. All right, we're playing the, we're playing the video game now. I've had enough of this. I have had enough. What a rotten way to die. So this game is a roguelike game, very heavily inspired, very clearly by CDDA and Zomboid, which is interesting because Zomboid was also inspired by CDDA. But uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's in early access, but uh, it's also very much like that. You know that game, that Flash game, Last Stand? It's also very, it's, it's got some inspiration from that too. It's a lot of those. This is Terminus. Oh, game. And I might actually go into my settings quick. Cool, okay. Make sure the tutorial's on for all of you. New game, new game. All right, Chet. First of all, you have to pick a job. We have the choice between currently right now, soldier, firefighter, or police officer. I choose firefighter. Because tools sound like they will be very useful. My name is, oh, I saw Reginald go by. My name is Clifton. My name's Clifton. Clifton the firefighter. Okay. I'm strong. I can carry a lot of stuff on my back. I move quick on my feet. I got a lot of health. I am observant. All right. I know how to fight. Okay. And I think we take a little bit in dexterity because we already have bonuses and tool reduction, uh, durability reduction. So I think uh, that would be good for us. We also, as a firefighter, know the location of all fire stations on the map. Uh, webcam is on. It's got a lid on it. You couldn't see me if you wanted to today, dude. And, and, you guys think you're gonna catch a fucking peek at me when I'm not, when it's not permitted? LOL. LOL. Lid reveal? I do not keep the lid off of my webcam when I'm not streaming or when I'm not intending to use it, dude. That shit goes on fucking instantly. All right, we're gonna select a trait. <laughs> We do not have many points. Matter of fact, we only have one right now in this game. So we can choose one of three preferences to boost our morale when we use something. I'm gonna take a preference for copy. Yeah. Our scenario. Uh, sanctuary. This is the default game scenario. Infected zombies are attacking people. Society has collapsed and supplies are running out. Many people have died or become zombies, but some survivors have gathered at the Terminus Center waiting for other survivors. Uh, another one is out of stock. As the situation took a turn for the worse, there was a long line of people trying to get things in the shopping district. At first, there was nothing unusual, but then things started to run out. Fights broke out everywhere over the remaining items. Meanwhile, some people broke windows and began looting stores. Their actions were initially criticized, but only briefly. Over time, many people joined in on the looting, and now, there's very little left in the stores. The toilet paper's gone. 
90% of all furniture in special places except for houses is empty. Most doors and windows in special places have been broken. Items found in houses have been increased by 10%. Uh, crowd. We can't do crowd. We don't know enough about the game. And this is a roguelike thing, so you progress and get more powerful as time goes on. Frozen zombies. The starting temperature is decreased by 20 degrees Celsius. Game starts with accumulated snow, and snow comes more often. Zombies attack and action power become half. We're gonna just play normal sanctuary. Let's get in there. I run. So this is turn-based. It uses a kind of system of like cataclysm where like you consciously choose where to go and then the enemy does their turn once you end yours. You get a certain amount of AP every game or every turn. <clears throat> All right. Infected zombies are attacking people. Your house is still safe, but electricity and water have been cut off. And there's few supplies left. In your last communication, you learned that the surviving people have gathered in Terminus. Arrive at the Terminus safely to survive. Tip, you can get a radio and listen to the broadcast or follow the railroad tracks to find out where Terminus is located. Here we are, Clifton. We are located here. We do not know where the Terminus is. What I do know as a fireman is wherever fire station is on the map. Might be able to get some supplies at one of them. I reckon we head on over to a fire station. All right, head on over to the fire station to the east. Find ourselves some kind of radio, some supplies. Best bet we have. First, let's take a look around. All right, backpack currently contains one fire X, which we can use to break furniture and force open doors. It's a very high value item. We're not going to be using it to fight things. We don't have that kind of. We don't have that kind of, that kind of option. Let's take a look around. Outside looks clear. Not seeing anything out there. Furniture. It's gonna take two AP to even search something. We have 20 AP a turn. Uh, you get packed like nine per turn. So really like if you use all of it, you're exhausted. Raincoat, a machete, and five ammo. That's a pretty good find. Not bad. Uh, from what I've gathered in this game, uh, you automatically wear the things in your inventory. To my knowledge. So I'm wearing a raincoat. I've already got resistance to water now. Okay. Let's take a look around. Use one AP to move a single block in this game. Check a little bit more. They said this place would be safe. We got a jacket, a crowbar, and a kitchen knife. All right. You can use the kitchen knife to butcher things. So you're saying you get harmed if you use all your AP? You don't get harmed, but you won't be able to run from things like that tiny zombie in the bottom. Let's be careful. We don't want to get in trouble. Now we're low on AP. We're going to check inside my sofa and then we're going to get the hell out of here. Coffee. I fucking love coffee. I fucking love coffee. We can eat it raw. We can. Let's take a look around quick. You can craft things in this game. This game has a full crafting system, believe it or not. It's got oodles of information and documents and things that we need to care about in this game, including XP and talents. For now, let's see what we can actually do in here. Most stuff is broken down into components in this game. So fortunately we don't need like, you need a, you need a stick. And the head of an axe to make an axe. No, you just need the components for the axe for this game, which is nice. Uh, you don't have to worry about a ton of that crap. But right now, I think the best thing we can do is get the hell out of here. That zombie looks like it's looking away from us. We might end up trying to sneak into that, that there door if we can. I think the zombie's wandering on away. Yeah, he's going that way. I don't think he's seen us. Wow, we live in a tiny house. Uh, is, do, do I live in like a duplex? I see more house up there, but I, uh, it looks like I live in some kind of sad studio apartment. 
I'm gonna check this. All right, multiple zombies. Lighter. Neither of these zombies have noticed I'm here. I reckon we head on outside and try to get the hell away from them. We don't want to just, we don't even own a toilet in this building. Cut around this way, I'm gonna see if I can get inside this thing. Is there anything else in there? No toilet. Look, I, firefighters don't get paid that much evidently in this world. It must be like some kind of shed. Let's make sure we have AP. We get nine back per turn. Okay, hang on. No possible paths. Yeah, it's gotta be some kind of shed. Oh. Okay. We get in here? Yeah, yeah, here we go. We got planks. Planks of wood. We can use these. Hang on! Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, wait. Close the fucking door. I don't want something getting in here. Rest for a minute. Get our AP back. Let's take a look around. We live here, so we should be able to find something that only we would... Car fuel. Uh... I mean, that's pretty good. Getting some car fuel, they got some planks. We got everything a man could need to survive in this kind of situation. We check the last of this stuff and then we're getting potato, fresh bread, and another fresh potato. All right. That potato's gonna go bad in 40 turns. We're gonna have to eat it at some point. I might just eat it now. Yeah, let's just eat this. Hang on, that bread's gonna go bad way faster. Uh... How much can we carry? Wouldn't you like to know? Uh, it's actually, there's a, it's an unlimited carry system. The thing is that the higher your carry weight, the more AP you consume uh, overall to move. So it kind of works like that. I'm going to rest two turns out here and get all my AP back. And then we're moving on. Getting the hell out of here. We got to find something. We got to find like a radio. We're leaving. Let's go. Nothing more for us out here. Run another unidentified place covered in blood. Oh my god. There's freaking zombies everywhere. There's just zombies all over the place. Alright. We're gonna try to avoid that guy. Rest here for a minute. Day one. It's now 1 p.m. Uh, what is this? That's some kind of... Okay, this, there's got to be a door around here I can use to do my thing. A door? That's it. It's a door. It's locked. Uh, I choose to pry open this door. With, a, with the crowbar I own. I mean, I used my tool expertise skills, so of course we uh, saved some durability on this thing. The crowbar is now at a durability of 21%. Could have been a lot worse. All right, we're gonna burgle this person's house. I think I knew. A book and a novel. I'm the, okay, uh, some more wood. We can use these to make a fire. Painkillers, more books, and tool parts. Hang on, let me take a look at this. So these books, one contains the survival skill head strike. 25% melee damage when attacking the head. That sounds wacky good. Uh, one's teaching us about survival cooking. And one's teaching us about morale. I don't care about that. I think we want to read that head strike book at some point, but I don't know if I want to do it at my neighbor's house when there's uh, my, when my neighbor's zombie body is currently outside, just kind of wandering around. Let's just keep looting their house. There is a nice corner to hide in. There's only one window going into this place. Wait, no, that's not even a window. This is a good place to read a book. Chat. We got a street map. Hang on, we got a map of the area. This could be helpful to us. We're gonna to want to take a look at this. You can use AP to check for location information. Check the location on the map. Uh, select the location on the map you want to check. The AP required to use a street map starts at four and increases as you get farther away from your current location. Okay. 
So here we are. We now know exactly where we are. And we have an ability to check stuff with like a ping and get an idea of what these unidentified places actually are. We don't have enough AP right now, but if we rest, we can. Okay. I think we don't fuck with any of these doors. I go over here. I rest a minute. Get some of my AP back. I'm getting a little hungry. I'm going to snack on some of this bread I have and this potato. Okay. I'm well fed. Energy's getting a little low. I'd like to try to read a little bit of my book. Uh, I'm going to use all my AP reading this book and just see how much I get through. 55 pages. I've read about 27% of this book. Okay. All right. So, probably, we probably want to sleep here tonight. This is, but there is a zombie outside. We might want to deal with that. But my energy's low. Maybe, what time is it right now? It's only six. Let's get, let's check this room here before we do anything. Just to make sure there's not a fucking zombie in it. Okay. There's no zombies in the room. Fresh lettuce, fresh oranges. Okay. Got another plank. We'll just, we'll loot this place quick. That goes outside. We don't care about that. All right. There's no zombies inside. There's just the one guy outside. We could just ignore him. Book, canned beans, medicine. All right. I'm going to loot that furniture and then we're going to sleep. We're going to get some shut eye. Got another fire axe. There's no windows to this room. This is the place we want to sleep. We're going to sleep on that there couch. Call it a day. Can I barricade the door? No. Not currently. I can dismantle some things though. I'm wearing, I've got a lot of clothes here. I don't think I need this worthless hoodie. It doesn't do anything compared to these two. I'm already wearing two other pairs of clothes and it's very weak anyways. I'm gonna dismantle that once I have the AP. I'm tired and depressed. Damn, dude, just like normal Zomboid, you spend more than one day awake doing things and your character spirals into being depressed. <laughs> Same, man. Same. <sighs> okay. Well, hey, Clifton's having a hard day today, but it's gonna feel a lot better once we catch some shut eye. Let's get some shut eye at this block. There he goes. All right, Clifton. Get some of your energy back. All right. Do it again. Okay. This is all real time. I have to choose to skip turns, dude. That's kind of sketchy. We still know there's some creature outside wandering around. And it's processing the zombies fucking turns. Okay. Okay. As you sleep for longer, the speed of the sleep increases because it's continuous. So we're actually gaining energy faster. Uh, we'll sleep for one more hour. 2 a.m. <laughs> now that's wake up, Clifton. All right. It's a beautiful day for it. And eat a snack. Get the hell out of here. This fresh lettuce is ready to go. Any way I can cook this. I'm up. I'm up. I'm gonna eat this fresh lettuce. Raw. Eat it. Okay? Eat these oranges as well. They're gonna go bad. Okay? Cooking it gives the following effect. Morale. Well, I'm not gonna cook a fire in- I'm not gonna start a fire in my house, so I'm not- I'm not- I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna be cooking things today. Today's a raw food kind of day. All right, it's dead or not, I can't really see, so I might just read for a little bit longer. I may just read a little longer. I don't really want to go out in the dead of night. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to identify the places near me. To some extent. We're going to check these places near me. Police station. All right, unless there's a police station, we might be able to find some supplies there. All right, that's good. That's good. Okay. I'm gonna spend the rest of my IP right now. Getting a little bit more, uh, getting a little bit more done on this 
head strike book. All right, we got half it read. What time is it? Three. Sun rises in another couple hours. We're gonna read another full set of AP. Try to finish the book. Head strike. All right. Acquired survival skills can be found on the experience page of your, your manual. We've acquired one skill of this. We have nothing else we can do with it now. Okay. Good, 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 good. I can't dismantle it, so I think we just ditch it now. Because it already says already read. So we can ditch that now. We don't need it. All right. We're going to get our AP back to full. And then we're heading outside. Dude, I'm already kind of into this game. It's got that cataclysm style slowness where it's like, fuck, I don't even know if I can take one zombie in this game. Not seeing any zombies. All right, that goes to the house, which means that's got to go to the police station. Are we... Do I take a look at what the police station looks like? I have weapons. I have ammo. If I just get a gun, dude... Hang on, I need to fill up my AP before I do this because it's going to use 12 to actually go. I'll arrive tired. Okay, there's a zombie right there just out of my range. We're going to cut this way. If you do longer movements, it uses less AP. So it's kind of like the exchange of like, do you go farther or do you do something smaller that's going to tire you out more? Uh... Probably gonna have to clear this zombie out, but I'm gonna try to sneak in. I have a crowbar. Let's move. I'm gonna go to the window. Oh! Oh, sorry, this is a door. It's locked. There's also a door there covered in blood, but at least I can see into that room. All right, we're gonna try to break this one open. Oh! I'm in. We're in the building. We're in the building. I don't know what happened to the law enforcement of this town, but as far as I'm concerned, they ain't gonna need any of this stuff anymore. They're all dead or dying. Antidepressants and a wood bat, we love that. Can I make like a spiked bat? If I found some nails, I can make a nail bat. All right. Flashlight and a small flashlight. We're only going to need one of those. Uh, I'm going to dismantle the other one. Maybe use nine times or 15 times. Consumes 10% charge, three brightness. I mean, if I'm going to have to use one in... I don't want to make it a habit. So we're going to dismantle one of them. So I have the electrical parts. I don't want multiple flashlights. Let's check this. Wood glue. We love glue. We love glue. Umbrella and a hoodie. Definitely don't need both of those. Dismantle one. I wish I could dismantle from here. Instead of, like, from the other menu. Bad condition. We're going to dismantle this. I'm trying to, like, get myself as close to 50% AP, so when I actually rest, I'm not wasting AP. All right, let's clear this place. Huh. Oh! You have accumulated enough experience. The actions for survival are ingrained in the body as a useful skill for survival. Okay, it's like the survival skill you want to acquire. Get better at tools. 25% damage when melee attacking legs. I feel like head is just better. I have a flashlight. But being able to see at night sounds really good. But tools seem extremely valuable in this game. And having minus 50% tool durability sounds fucking really good. I'm going to take the tool. I'm going to keep investing in the thing that my character is good at. For now. The zombie has seen me. That one's crawling. I'm not too worried about him. I think I want to bait this zombie to come through this window. Because I'm thinking it might work like Cataclysm in that this zombie will have to come like through the window to actually get me. 
And that one has not noticed me at all. So I'm going to backtrack here. Actually, what I might do is close this door and go around outside because he's attacking the window. Maybe while he's distracted, I can sneak up behind him. Because he won't be able to see me. He's attacking. He's moaning and attacking the window. Maybe we go for him now. He has no idea we're here. All right. He won't be able to see around the corner because we can't see around the corner. He has no idea I'm here. All right. Oh, fuck. There's another one. The sound. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Maybe I'm a really adept at fighting, though. We don't know. Let's see here. Kind of curious how far he can move. Let's go over here. What's your speed like, bozo? Maybe it's really easy to ditch them. I kind of need to fight one. How fast are you? Not fast. He's not even following me. What's the point of all this? Dude, calm down. It's just a video game, man. I don't know what the fucking problem is. How about you just take it easy and eat your big, big old can of beans? Chill out, man. We're gonna go to the. We're gonna go to the top of the building. Nothing. All right. I need to loot this place. I have to. I just wish I had more help to do it. Go here. Let's try to flank this guy. No possible paths. What's the point of all this? Dude. Where's my coffee? <laughs> I know for a fact I picked up coffee beans. Eat these. Chill out, man. See, you're fine. Eat the beans. I'm gonna fucking cry, dude. All right. I'm gonna let this zombie come to me. He ignored me. <laughs> That's it! <laughs> oh! You and me, motherfucker. I've got training in attacking someone at the head. All right, chat. It's a normal old ghoul. All we have to do is hit him in the head. We have multiple weapons that can do it. We want something with a plus percentage chance to hit the head. We own stuff for that. We have a low quality axe that will do the job. We're gonna aim for that fucking head. We're gonna try to take it off of their fucking body. Whoa! Pathetic. Pathetic. I spit on them. We gotta loot this place. Come on. We know there's still more zombies around. Sun's gonna be setting soon. Hey, asshole. Why don't you come on over here already? Come on, then. It's Dango. I don't want to get too close to both of them. Can that one see me? This one can't see me. Only this one sees me. I think we... My energy's low, though. Mm. Mm. I want to... I need to loot this place. These two gotta go. This is a good spot to fight him. How far do you move in a turn? Okay, perfect. I can't see them anymore. The sunset. I close the window. I, I close the window. I close the window. I'm going back to my house. Fuck, I don't have much food, though. I have no food! I should have gotten the night vision, dude! The sun turned off! <laughs> the sun fucking turned off, and now I can't see him! Hello? Wait, I can still attack. Zombies out of sight when attacking a zombie that's not in sight. The zombies... HP is not shown and accuracy is greatly reduced. At night, you can make a fire or turn on a light to see them. Wait, I own a flashlight. I literally own one. Current charge? Okay. Beam. 
Well, 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 would you look who it fucking is? Oh, oh my ex. Well. Whatever. That wasn't my good ex. That was my bad extra ex I got. It's okay, Chad. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This guy only moves one block per turn. We're gonna let him come to us. My guy's horribly depressed. I can't see him because he's on the ground. But because he's on the ground, I'm fairly confident that I can probably hit him with the axe. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to hit this guy. Okay, I killed him. All right, we're looting this place. Let's get in there. Close the window. We got work to do tonight. So this place, nothing. We fought a lot to do this. We gotta make sure we get something out of it. Tool parts and alcohol. Fucking love alcohol. Planks. My guy doesn't know how to get here. I don't know what I'm looking at. Did my flashlight turn off? My guy got like lost and confused. So far, this police station has not been a good investment of my time. Chat. I'm going to be honest. Uh, so far, the police station has been a bit of a wash. I found tape. I have no food. My character is in a depressive state. But I did just find a rifle and a shotgun. Well, I don't have food, but I do have a rifle, a shotgun, and a foregrip. I attach the foregrip to the rifle. Yep. I'll tell you what, that's gonna hurt if you shoot someone in the head. Hell yeah, brother. All right, chat, here's what we're gonna do. We, oh, move mode. Okay, it tells me exactly how much AP. I think where we go is not back to the old house because we have no food. All we have for food right now is salt. I think we're gonna go in the dead of night while we still have the energy to the other house neighboring this house. Fucking sad. Okay, dude. If you're fucking sad, take some antidepressants. I don't know what else to tell you. Take some antidepressants. I truly have no... Like, I can't... You're gonna have to suck it up for a little bit, man. I have nothing for you. I have nothing. We're going to the other house. I discover the house. And by uh, discover the house, I mean I'm in the fucking shadow realm. But one thing I know is that if I'm in the shadow realm, there's no way anything here can see me. I had to turn on this flashlight so I can see. Let's move quick. Windows open. Let's get inside. Close the window. We need food. We're gonna die if we don't get vitamins. None of these! None of these are food we can eat, but I do need vitamins to stay alive. We're gonna pass out otherwise. I grab some vitamins. They'll keep me from passing unconscious. <laughs> we will survive! Aluminum bat. None of that is what I need. Some more garbage. Fuck. I need, to start, I need to start offloading some of my inventory. I got too much crap. That's not looking good, chat. Couldn't find anything useful. No food. No food. No food. Horribly depressed. No food. Horribly depressed. Getting hungry. Starting to get hungry. No food. Sun's coming up. Haven't slept. No food. Horribly depressed. You think you're gonna fucking square up at me? You think for a fucking second I'm gonna let you square up on me, motherfucker? Let's see how this gun works! Mm. 
noise is made during execution. That thing is mostly dead. Hang on, I don't need to do this. Stop. How much AP is this gonna take? I can kill him. Hey, bud. How you doing, man? Let's just grab this bat. I wish I had something that did more head damage. Other than, like, my, you know, normal. His body, if I hit his body one time, I believe he just dies. I'm gonna stab him with this machete. He's dead. I, I mean, I, I thought he was gonna be dead. But his arms fell off and he's still alive. Um, well, I, I swing at your head then, you asshole. I kill him. Okay, you can't just aim at people's arms and expect them to die as zombies. They enter phase two of combat. I already have a screwdriver. 73% quality. But it's quality very low. Fuck it. Let's grab everything. We're doing well for ourselves, Jet. All things considered. There it fucking is, dude. We're gonna need to eat this now. And this now. It's the only way we stay alive. And? <sighs> Am I really so desperate that on day three of the apocalypse I'm willing to crack open this rotten banana? It's making crunching sounds when I pick it up. It's going... It's making crunching sounds. Bananas don't crunch. We add some salt to it. That's the ticket. I don't know about this one, Chet. This feels like a big mistake. I don't know about this one, Chet. This one feels like a big mistake. The banana wouldn't be there if they didn't want me to eat it. <laughs> Why would the banana be sitting there on the cupboard in such a position if it wasn't meant to be eaten by me? <laughs> you know what I mean? We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine, chat. No one died from eating one bad banana. Okay, no one. We need to find a place to sleep. Been up all night. We've been up all night. It's the worst. It's the worst thing I've ever tasted in my entire fucking life. Fuck, this is the end of the entire building. I have nowhere to sleep. Guess I'll just sleep on the ground like a fucking bozo. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta. Sometimes you just gotta yamch your pose on the ground. A little fucking idiot. Well, your morale goes up slowly but surely. Catching some Z's. A disease has occurred. Cause rotten banana. You can recover by sleeping or take an antibiotic and cure it immediately. Well,. I'm going to recover it by sleeping because I'll tell you what, I had to catch some sleep anyways. Who cares? I don't care. I had to catch some sleep. Let's cure this disease. We won't even know we had a disease because I'm going to cure it now. Watch this. My morale's going up. My character's having a good fucking day today and no amount of horrible diseases obtained by eating rotten bananas in someone's cupboard is going to change that. Matter of fact, nothing could change it. Clifton's having a good fucking day. How's that disease coming? Because I'm about to wake up. I don't want to wake up diseased. How's that? Di that disease almost gone? There it is. In perfect sequence with me needing to wake up so I can find food to be alive. I have awoken from my slumber. It's time to get out there and make some goddamn money. Where am I? Okay. I think the best place for us to go in the game right now is unidentified place number eight, which is this one right here. So I'm going to go out the door 
and we're gonna go all the way up to here. There's no zombies out here. If there were, they would have shown themselves. Oh fuck, there's a zombie right here, it didn't show themselves! Back, creature of the night, back! Hot! Shut! Shaw! Simple as that, baby. All right, let's get some AP and get the fuck out of this place. Or any more of those freaks show up. We're going to an unidentified place. We have to find food here or it's all over. <laughs> I do not know how else to say it. Without food, it's over. I'm going to take some vitamins. I'm going to take uh, some potent vitamins. No, weak vitamins. Okay. Let's do this. It's time to be a gamer. Sweep the area. Let's move. What time is it? Oh, fuck. We have one hour till the sun sets again. Our character is fucked. I hate our character. I hope they die. I hope they get devoured by zombies. I'm so tired of living in squalor. Let me in. We're gonna live here tonight. We're gonna have enough AP. Bye bye, son. Bye bye. Cool. Steel pipes. Neato. I need food to live. Chat. <laughs> I can't eat wood glue. No one can. You can't eat wood glue to be alive. I just need a little more time, nurse. I just need a little more time. You give me a little more time, I can make it out. I don't need any more machetes, man. I'll tell you one thing. I've never seen a town with more machetes. Holy shit. I'd like to offload some of my weapon stock, I think. Thank you. That'll lower my weight a little. We're gonna die. In one turn, our character's fucking dying. I can't do that. Oh yeah? Well, if you can't do it, it's gonna be the last thing you ever fucking don't do because I'll tell you what in one second unless you eat this fucking salt, you're gonna be dead! Take the vitamins! I'm getting real hungry now. You made a big mistake showing your face around these parts. Anyone got food on you? <laughs> Anyone? I can't do that. I need food. Help! Please! I can't eat glue! <laughs> I can't eat glue! No one can! Dude! And my guy doesn't like alcohol! I gotta go to unidentified place number two. The fuck is this? There's debris blocking the path. We're gonna have to clear this. Or we're gonna die. I can tell a mile away right past this. If you get caught in the rain, you'll get wet as much. You will get. Wet as much as AP used. If you end your turn outside, a large amount of wetness will be added. The wetness will gradually decrease if you don't stay in the rain. I don't want to be wet, but I have an umbrella. Oh! I know I could just go around it. I know, but I need to get this fucking debris out of the way. My I am depressed. Yeah, it's not a good day. <laughs> yeah, today's a it's a bad day. Yeah. 
Just a little more and we'll be out of here, chat. Oh! Big day today. The, well, I'll tell you one thing. Those vitamins have kept me wired. I'm not sleepy at all right now. Bye. The railroad. Chet, you were told if we follow this, we'll get to the, we'll get to the terminus. We just have to, we just have to follow this. We're going to make it. We're going to make it to the terminus. We just have to follow the railroad north. It's as simple as that. We get north. Which way? Not south. There's no map to the south. This is exactly how we make it out of this one. I'm gonna fucking gun this guy down. Ba bang. Two rounds on standby. It's okay, Chet. Contrary to popular belief, even if you don't own food, you can use medicine to counteract the effects of dying of starvation. <laughs> I'll just keep eating these pills until I find actual food. We're gonna be okay. No one's ever died of starvation as long as they have health care. I've leveled up, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing that ain't gonna break. My axe. All right, let's go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm running full speed down the fucking railway right now. Chad, this is like, if you saw me running down the railway, you'd step off of the railway. You'd get out of the fucking way. Because right now this guy's going, ho, 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 as fast as he can. Square up, motherfucker. The zombie doesn't even see me. Big mistake for it. Get in there. Hup! Zombie's too far to melee attack. One moment, sir. Hup! Oh! <sighs> now what, you want to fucking square up on me, motherfucker? Go ahead, climb that fence, see what happens. Damn, you got a lot of attacks. That thing has 42 health. I'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother sticking around. He's gonna take years to get through that. I'm busy starving. So where are we right now? We're currently here. Chat. Any minute now, we're gonna see a big sign. It's gonna say supermarket. It's gonna say, it's gonna say supermarket. We're gonna have food. We're gonna live. Hang on, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna let that zombie come to me. I'm gonna kill it. All right, motherfucker. Stance. Bah! Durability 85%. We still got plenty on this. We gotta keep moving. We gotta save as much AP as possible or we're gonna die. Go, go, go. Uh, Puppet pills number two! Am I really going to postpone the inevitable demise of my mortal body by taking another entire bottle of just incredibly powerful painkillers? Find that supermarket! I'm gonna find that supermarket! We're kicking the hell out of here, motherfuckers! It's gonna take a lot more than that to kill me. I'm still alive. Well, well, well. You better hope I ran out of AP, motherfucker. Whoa! Yeah, not a million years. Not a million years. You're never gonna get through that fence. It's got 51 HP, fool. Get the rest of my IP back. Chad, I'm starting to run out of energy. 
When I run out of energy, it's over. I don't know what else to say. Maybe we take our chances going south. Right now, we're right here. This is like getting close to town. It's gotta be something. We have to go. We have to, like, find food. It's a house! It's a house! It's a real house! It's not like a fucking storage closet! It's not a warehouse! It's a house! Like, I have to have snacks. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? Well, <laughs> sunset. <laughs> That's not great. Not the worst thing that could happen at this moment for old Clifton is the sun setting and therefore me not being able to see. I'm gonna spend my spend my time. It said other survivors turned for a second, which gives me hope there may be someone out here. I'm breaking into the house. Huh? Oh! The fuck out of you! I will kill anyone and everyone in this building if that's what it takes. Preaching and clearing. It's ghost town. All right, loot. We gotta find food. It's a fucking crowbar and tape. Please. Beans. We're gonna live. We're gonna live. We're gonna be without beans. We're gonna live. Weak antidepressants. <laughs> we also need those. Take those. Take those stat. We're gonna, we're gonna get out of here. There was one can of, you can't tell me there was only one can of beans in this fucking house. My guy's gonna pass out in a second, I have to sleep. When we wake up in the morning, we'll have energy. Okay, and we can find the rest of the food in this house. We'll be okay. Sunrise in three hours. We're gonna sleep till sunrise, that seems reasonable. By then the beans will have been devoured by my stomach and I'll be back to being starving. Gonna be okay. Sunrise. Let's get up. All right. Get my IP. All right, my guy's back to being starving and hungry. Let's move. Anything in here? High dose adrenaline shot and tool parts. Give me fucking beans. I don't know why you, oh, a fry, oh, oh, chat, look, oh, look. We can use that to cook. Like, I don't know, some glue we have. Oh, let me take a, oh, I gotta, let me, let me get an inventory of the fucking things we have to cook right now. I got some cool rags and planks to eat. Oh, we got plenty of car fuel. Go fuck yourself. Can't live like this. I need to down, I need to like ditch some of my weight. I've got so much weight. Got too much crap. We do not need two street maps. All right, that made me drop both street maps, which is uh, not intended. There we go. <laughs> we just need to, <laughs> we're gonna be fine. How long have I had this radio? Where the hell did this come from? How long have I had this radio that I could use to contact the Terminus and find where to escape to save my life from all, all these zombies? Since the start. We both know you're a fucking liar. Alright. 
We both know you're a deceiver. Hello? Hello, calling the Terminus. We are at the Terminus north of the city. If there are people alive, please come here. The location of this place is N928E7.2. We are zombie survivors. We have stocked up food and medicine, and we've got a solid defense to protect us from the zombies. If there are people alive, please come to the Terminus. They can't be that far away. Ew! 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 Yikes! Ooh! Mamma mia! That's on the other side of the whole map, baby! I'm fucking dead! <laughs> I'm, fu I'm fucking Omega dead! That's not good. Guess I'll die. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm calling on my ham radio to the Terminus. Would you guys be down to move into the city? I know it sounds like it's risky. I know you, there's a lot of zombies in there, I know. But like, maybe you move closer to me. Yes? Yes. Can we meet halfway? We have to go. Chat, there is no food in this house. We got one can of beans, and we should be, I guess, happy about that. We're going to have to go to the next unidentified place. We're never going to make it out of this place alive. Dude, literally, who are you? I don't care. Square up if you want. They're not even moving. I'm so hungry. Yeah, I know. We're gonna fucking die. You got nothing. You got no chance of making it out of here alive. Maybe the best thing I could do right now is drop a ton of tools that I'm never gonna use. Like this old screwdriver that's like not as good. This one's also about to break. Uh, this half-used lighter. You got a load of books. That are like, for morale? I'll tell you what I use for morale. Antidepressants. I use that. I don't have time for that. Let's go. House. Y'all got food in here? Y'all got a car in here? Where, 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 where have we here? I mean, I know I'm starving to death right now. Let's check the house first. We need food, remember? A fire axe, antidepressant, chips. The one thing I fucking love to find any day of the week is opening a cabinet and finding chips directly next to my fucking antidepressants, dude. Let's eat these chips and also eat these antidepressants. Simple as that, baby. Snack for both occasions. Snack for my body and a snack for my my very sad brain. Mm mm mm. Num num num. A battery. I don't need this. <laughs> I don't. I mean, maybe I can. I guess, yeah, I can put in my flashlight. Is there scary music playing? Ah, uh, hello? Ah, uh, hello? This is a turn-based game, motherfucker. Chill out. <laughs> motherfucker, this is a turn-based game. All right, let's search a little faster, I guess. Thick book. Uh, <laughs> uh, dude, chill. It's just beans. I'm, I'm just looking for beans. We don't need these. Wait, these these upgrade health stats. Let 
Mr. X is here. Mr. X isn't real. You're telling me, chat. You're telling me I scanned this whole fucking house and all I found was a bag of chips. Cereal! Yo! We lived, motherfucker. We lived. Oh. We lived. All right, I'm gonna check this car. Maybe we can get it working. We need to, I thought we need to check it first. We have car fuel. Maybe it's working. Check it. Yo! Cars are cracked, dude! Okay. Give me the chips, the cereal, give me the beans. Give me the four times scope. Put this on my rifle. Okay. This is 6.4% broken. I have a wrench. I have some decks. I'm gonna try to repair it. I can fix this thing. Chat, I can fix this. Chat, we can get this car working. It's working. We need to get directions first. Now drive to the terminus. <laughs> Damn it! We don't know the way! Not that easy. Hang on, I should get my AP back before I drive anywhere. I'm depressed. Why would that be, dude? This is the best day of our life. What do you mean you're depressed? I just gave you antidepressants. What do you need more? Fine. Fine. I'll give you more antidepressants. I'll never address my problems, ever. But I will eat this canned meal. Drive. I'm gonna stow the rest of my car fuel in here. I don't even know. How much can the car hold? I mean, it feels like we're car people now. For now. All right. So I can drive to this unidentified place. It uses one fuel to move. Okay, yeah, let's go. So that restaurant! Chat, we may settle down here and read a lot of books and get our stats back if there's actually food in this place. Table for, hang on. Table for one! I say, storming in through the window. Nothing useful. Story of my life. Antibiotics. In the goddamn restaurant. I, 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 I'm finding antibiotics in Arby's right now. Sunsets in one hour. Fuck, get my AP back. We'll just use the flashlight. Let's roll. We have batteries for it. Activate battery mode. Activate fight mode. Okay. Nails, we can use that to make a fucking nail bat. This part of the place is clear. Come to daddy. <laughs> Come to daddy, you disgusting fucking pieces of shit. Oh yeah, no, that's what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> Mmm, the mold adds such an umami flavor. It adds umami to the, to the... Mmm. Take all that. Oh, yeah. 
Mother of God! Uh, well, well, what have we here? Century meat. <laughs> Dude, I actually saw, I, I heard Juniper actually like ate the, the frozen egg and all I can say is that uh, I, I, no matter what she says, I was powerful enough in my ability to taunt her that I was able to get her to eat a frozen egg after fabricating that bit to me. I was able to uno reverso to the point where she actually ate a frozen egg. And I think that makes me a winner regardless of whether or not she enjoyed the, the, the century egg. I do think that makes me a winner. I think that makes me a winner, or at least, like, not the loser. <laughs> you always gotta walk out on top. <laughs> Rude! Rude, they say. Rude, they say. Rude, the audience says. I did nothing. All I did was plant the seeds. <laughs> All I did was stoke the fire. Okay. All I did was say words. All right. <laughs> All I did was say words and kick back as the reaction took place. All it takes is one bad egg. The Puppet Master. <laughs> the music. Uh. Oh, yeah. This kitchen was such a good haul. Fuck. No, that was a clip. Absolutely joked up. Some kind of freak. Let's get the fuck in there. How much AP I have? I don't think I have enough to actually take this guy down. So what we're gonna do is we gotta back up to here, rest a turn while it comes after me, or it just didn't come after me. Is it still there? Didn't even follow me. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a crawler. Right, I'm gonna kill him. What's up, bozo? Bah! All right. Thick book, canned corn, carrot. I'm tired and depressed. I'm more relatable than ever before right now. All right, I think I'm gonna sleep on the fucking ground, but first I'm gonna make a fire. Yeah. Did I succeed? Oh, I have to add fuel to it. Arise! So, I'm going to cook some rotten food and hopefully cook that rot right out of it. Well, 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 what does that fucking say, chat? It doesn't say rotten food. That says fresh cooked fucking meal. Don't you have some, uh, don't you look like a fool right now? Toss a banana in there. Maybe a little bit of lettuce. That right there is a delicious meal. Toss some lettuce and carrots, make a lovely salad. Get 
some bread in there. Don't have enough AP. Look up another right now. You guys are so fucking jealous of my skill. That's rotten meat. Well, now it's a fresh cooked meal that'll increase my morale. When I eat it, which I'm going to. Right now. Oh yeah. We have time to cook one more thing. See, the thing is, chat, rotten food will never go bad. So there's no reason to cook more of it. It can't get worse. Okay. The rotten food is the meta. All right. I'm going to sleep. When I wake up in the morning, I'm going to be so freaking happy. Fuck, it's daytime. New information can be obtained on the radio. Noted. Once I've gotten all my energy back. <laughs> I bet you'd eat the crumbs between your couch cushions. In an apocalypse scenario, motherfucker? Fucking maybe. If it was that or death? Mayhaps. Okay? Every calorie counts. Every calorie counts. I bet you'd be dead! I bet you'd be dead! No one last 10 seconds out here! Not like me. No. You wouldn't last 10 fucking seconds. Ah, frick. My cooked meat. Oh, wait, no. That's, some, that's one someone else made. I can't cook that into another meal. This might be the first meal I actually dispose of. Morale, believe it or not, is very important to me. I can't do that. This dude eats more than a horse? That's because you gotta survive. You thought you were gonna ambush me, motherfucker? Fuck out of my face! Let's get my AP back and get the hell out of here. First thing I'm gonna do. First things first, check the radio. You see what the Terminus is up to. This is the Terminus. We are helping survivors. We've received information that the path between N1.3 and S3.0 police station and the railroad is blocked by debris. Please be careful when coming here. We hope that everyone who listens to the broadcast arrives here safely. We will not be clearing the road. Yeah, chat, don't get distracted too much by the fact that it does take my character an hour to cross the building. Don't get distracted by stuff like that. You're being distracted by stuff that doesn't matter. That's your problem. That's your problem. All right. Let's ride. We're going to drive up to dangerous... Uh, we don't want to go near dangerous places. Because this is a large building... Uh... This is where a large building used to be before the apocalypse. Zombies are pouring out of this place. Zombies are added to the surrounding places. The place cannot be visited. We don't want to go here because it's connected to a dangerous place. So we're going to go up here. That's like a forbidden zone. All right, here we are. Let's get to it. I'm in. Vitamins. God, I fucking love vitamins. Maybe we'll sleep here tonight. You've accumulated enough experience. The actions for survival are ingrained. I level up. Uh, I'm gonna take extra food when I cook. Now that I know the meta. Now that I know the meta is to cook rotten food into a delicious snack. Scary music begins. 
Mr. X is coming. I can hear him marching along. Hello? Okay, this is a small building. Nice. Let's clear it. I might do some reading. Because you know this game definitely gets harder the farther in you get. What the hell's that? Some kind of zombie freak. Well, that's fine. We're not gonna be in there. We can put some rags on all these windows. Where'd that zombie get to? Oops. Okay, we're gonna cover them up so no one can see in here. And we're gonna sleep in here and like get some stuff done. Who's Mr. X? The scary man from Resident Evil 2, you fool. You fool. Okay, my guy's sleepy again. The sun just set. It's definitely sleeping time. Gonna catch some Z's. On the bed. It's gonna boost our the speed at which we get our energy back. Been neglecting our energy for a long time. And our morale. This is good for us. He doesn't know. Mods? Grab that guy and force him to disclose what he knows. Now? Please? That guy, the guy who said he doesn't know. Extract what he what he thinks I don't know and tell me. Get him. Now. Tell me what you fucking know, man. Oh wait, oh, the Mr. X guy doesn't know about who Mr. X is. All right, let him go, let that guy go. Let, let that guy go. Let, 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 let that guy go. Let that guy go. But chill. What the fuck is your problem today? Jeez. Like a bunch of crazy people. You're acting like psychos. Alright. Some seeds, if planted, new crops can be harvested. What? I thought this game was a run to the end as fast as possible game. <laughs> Wait, what? I guess the other, maybe the other stuff, maybe the other scenarios have different things. I thought I did not want to linger anywhere. I'm gonna eat my snack. I've got a lot of energy now. Still some time before the sun rises. I'm gonna go over to here. And then I'm gonna get some fucking hardcore ding dang reading in now. Ditch that too. So these are worthless morale books. Get the fuck out of my inventory. Don't want them. Uh, I'm also gonna ditch that wrench. Frying pans I wanna keep. Uh, we do not need all these kitchen knives. We're gonna use them. Keep my weight as low as possible, and it's been bloating like crazy recently. Uh, I don't need alcohol, so I don't know why I'm keeping it. Okay. We also don't need three street maps. Matter of fact, I haven't really been using the street maps. Survival cooking. Uh, we already have one level of survival cooking. We could learn another and boost our, our food skill by another 20%. Uh, energy decrease per turn, 10%. That's huge. But I think we want to do these stat boosts. I think these are... But there's so many pages. I think doing this one first would be best. Because we can read like half of it in one cycle. We can 
almost finish this book and get it out of our inventory. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna finish this one. Energy saving level two. Ditch it. And grab one street book back. So now we have energy saving one as well. Okay. It's pretty good. That'll save us a lot of resources in the long run. I want to leave, but I'm also like still pretty good at like food options. And I think reading here is really safe because I've already put the rags up on the walls. I kind of want to read like the next book and truly just spend today clearing out some of my inventory of garbage. I think that makes sense to me. Especially since I'm going to gain more from the food if I read this before I eat it. So I'm going to try to clear this out before I have to eat again or cook again. All right, we're gonna we're gonna finish this book. I'm depressed again, but what's new? Okay, that's survival cooking too. So what does that get me? Is that like a flat forty percent? Oh, they just flat out stack. Yeah, there as a one hundred percent stack. Okay, so I have now forty percent more hunger regained whenever I eat something I cooked. That's insane. Speaking of eating something I cooked, I'm about to cook something right now. Grab some firewood and make a fire. Though we don't have many more things to light fires with. It's gonna be something I have to keep in mind. Oh, go ahead and burn, uh, burn a novel. No one gives two shits about those. And I'm also gonna burn a plank or two and a couple rags. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna burn some books. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna cook a rotten banana, a rotten potato, a rotten lettuce, and some seeds. 8.4. Holy shit. Okay. Cook up another rotten carrot, another rotten carrot. The wrong potato? Or the wrong potato? Not bad. Alright. We're gonna go to sleep when we wake up in the morning. Oh wait, it's only 11. Fuck. Guess I could read a little bit more. I do want to spend the day not doing things. Yeah, we're gonna spend the day not doing things. That was the goal. Hang on, I should actually grab a little bit more firewood. <laughs> these are the perfect kindling for my fire. I mean, if I'm not gonna use these books anyways, they might as well be thrown into the fire. It'll warm me up. They're already used. I've already read them. Right on. Okay. We're gonna try to. We're gonna start reading the big book. But which one of these stats do I care about the most? I've never been hit by a zombie. I don't plan to. I think Dex is the best thing to boost. Dex or health? I have a big book for health, and combat, and agility. No Dex. Uh, health seems good. Okay, we got through 77 pages. It's not that bad. That ain't that bad at all. Okay, yeah. 33% done in a couple. We could finish it in like a night, but we're not gonna have all night to do it. Do one more cycle and I'm gonna sleep because in the morning we set out, get back on the road again. Sunset's coming up. We're gonna sleep at sunset. We 
almost. Yeah, we got 67% of the way through that book. We can finish it next time we have a break. All right. Let's get some sleep, man. Oops. Let's get some sleep, man. We should get our energy back fast. We're going to leave in the middle of the night. We haven't met any survivors. That's one thing I have noticed I'm not seeing in this game. Because I'm pretty sure you can get, like, other people to come with you and, like, you'll control them with your guy. But I've always been a one-man team. What the hell was that? What was that? Think I can catch one more Z? <laughs> Y'all think I can catch one more Z? You better pray to God. All right. Better pray to God. That you got the AP to take me on. Did they just break the window and then not come through? They can't see me. They broke the window and then walked away. Oh. Technically, it's not their turn yet. Uncover this. Take some rags back. We're leaving. Get in the car. There's a zombie on my car! Yeah. Idiot. Don't you know how powerful I am? Wait, I don't know any... Oh, fuck. Chat, there's no, um... There's no ways to go. My car. No, there has to be. Okay, I, I, we're okay, we're okay. I just hadn't discovered any new paths yet. We're going straight for the terminus. A fortified house. Wait! It seems some survivors have decided to keep their home rather than leave it. Maybe you can trade for what you need. I arrive at 2 a.m. Hello? This place is full. Go on your way. You need help? I can help you guys. We need an axe now. Do you have it? Can we just, like, trade instead? You'll have to show something pretty good if you want to trade. Uh, I don't have many things. <laughs> I don't want to get your hopes up. I don't have many things to give you. Uh, I got diamonds. Want diamonds? They wanted an axe? I know, but axes are my best weapon. And they, I one-shot every zombie with them, and there's no fucking way I'm going to give them my axes. I would rather kill them all. I, I literally would rather break into their house and murder them all and just take their things. Matter of fact, they may not know. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, but, um, but, um, I'm just saying, uh, give me your cans of beans. You're telling me jewelry is low value. Well, how high value is, uh... This freaking uh, I got a normal axe. Want a normal axe? I don't even want to give you that, dude. Dude, how about how about I fucking tell you how this is gonna go? All right, pussy. How about I tell you how this is gonna go? Come summarize. I'm breaking into this place. I'm killing all of you. It's got a real fortified house here. There's a guy attacking me! There's a zombie outside your house! A zombie runner? Bah! Fuck away from me. I saved your life. Oh, fuck! Your whole fucking house is haunted, man! Bro? 
Bro! This is my... This is my fellow firefighter! We were bros! You guys killed him! You guys killed him! Did you bring the axe? Oh, you, where's the door to your fucking house? You guys live like this? You guys got any open pathways in? I guess I could give you an axe. Got duct tape. I could repair my shit. Yeah, I'll give him the axe. Fuck it, dude. Oh my god, there's freaking zombies all over the ding dang place. They lost grandma. Alright. Here's what you guys need. Thanks a lot. They better not have taken the good one. Did they not even want a good axe? They just wanted a normal axe? Is there anything you guys need? Thanks for help last time. You don't need any more help. Well, then you guys help me. With... I don't know. Indicates how much this, troop, this group of survivors trust you. I, I, they started not trusting me at all, so now I don't even get to actually like gain anything from trading with them. Maybe the jewelry is worth more now. It's still low. Dude, come on. You guys can trust me. I just want antidepressants. Come on, guys. I just need antidepressants. I'm so fucking depressed. Guys, please. Please, guys, just one antidepressant. Please. Dude. These guys are really pissing me the fuck off. I'd love to kill them. I can't believe I gave them my ex. You let me know if you have any useful information. There are electronic stores, restaurants, hardware stores, and railroads nearby. Oh, that was actually really helpful. Um, thank you. Okay, those aren't very nearby, asshole. Those are more like uh, eons away in the grand scheme. How much more fuel do I have? Well, I guess we're gonna leave these fucking assholes really pissed me the hell off right now. I don't have much reason to stick around. We're gonna go. I don't have much fuel left either, though. This car ain't gonna make it much longer, Chad. This car ain't gonna make it much longer at all. I'm gonna run up to this guy and cut his head off. What? Fool. What's the point of all this? Dude, chill out. Y you're just experiencing a significant massive amount of depression as a result of your entire world being destroyed by some kind of zombie virus. What are you gonna do, cry about it? What are you gonna freaking do, cry? Like a little baby? How about, how about you cool it? A little. Oh my god. It's a freaking zombie. Dude, yeah, you gotta open the window. Pathetic. 66. That demon number, El Diablo. El Diablo. You guys got food in you? Flashlight, lighter, sweater. Nothing else. Morale, all time low. <laughs> Come, oh, there it is, dude. My carriage can smell antidepressants. 
I'm now stabilized at a cool zero. A cool, miserable. Very epic. Oh, bro! Double antidepressants. <laughs> bro, fuck yeah, dude! I will do whatever it takes, dude! Street map and book. I'm sorry, do you guys just loiter at my house? Is that what this is about? Or I guess my car? Oh, I'd love for them to square up. Get off of my car! Go away! Oh, that's the fucking ticket. That's what we've been looking for all along, baby. That's what we've been fucking looking for, dude. We love rotten food. We love rotten food in this house. We just do. XP's going up. This is just straight... Uh, dude, I'm not gonna garden in this game. I'm getting rid of the rake. Like, I, I'm not going to. I'm really not. The odds are also very low I'm gonna use either of these pistols ever. Why not? No. I... Trap? The terminus calls. Okay. I kind of want to sleep here. I don't have any coffee. My guy's like horribly sad all the time. Oh wait, I have vitamins. Okay, we're good. Well, go away now. Thank you. And get away from my car. Thank you. All right. We have one more drive we can do with the car before we have to abandon it forever. It feels like the best place to go is... Mm, fuck. That's suicide. I don't like dangerous place. The electronic store seems good, but it might also be a... Tr like, I don't need electronics. I need food. I need basic supplies. I don't think the electronics store is going to provide me with fuel. I think we're going to have to just walk. What if there's a PS5 in there? Nah, I need a place to sleep tonight. I, I, I'm going to be out of energy once these vitamins are out of my system. I don't think responsibly with our brain. Instead of being like a ding dang fu like fool. Square up, pussy. Yeah, you can't attack in diagonals. It's not possible. Ah. Locked. Not getting in this way. It's another zombie. How far these guys travel? Three blocks? Go like here, they shouldn't be able to reach me. Wow, that guy's really slow. What the hell's his problem? Uh, I wish I had batteries. I really wish I had batteries so I could turn on my flashlight. Oh, wait. No, wait, it's broken. I was going to say I have charge for that one. I do not. I don't need to see to take a life. I'm in. Now for my greatest move. I'm going to eat two. Hang on, I actually should cook. It's kind of like the responsible thing. I'm going to make a fire. Here. I'm going to add wood. Sorry, correction. Add a sweater to it. 
and an old street map and a novel and wood the scary music is starting to play and add some salt some ramen some rotten lettuce and an old banana fuck it i don't have ap stay awake for one more turn dude Now let's cook that. Salt, ramen, rotten food, rotten food, cook it. Okay, salt, rotten meat, rotten meat, rotten meat, cook it. People love seasoning. Uh, there we go. I kind of want to repair this broken flashlight. But it's not going to really finish all the way. Eh, we're just going to go to sleep. In the dead of night, with all the windows open and a fire inside so all the zombies can see me. They don't know I'm in here. If that zombie's breaking into something else, dude. That doesn't concern me. That, that really doesn't concern me. Oh, my guy woke up. Okay, now he's... All right, all right. I'm completely surrounded by zombies by the sounds of things. What do you want? Go away. The zombie had survived the first attack. I did not like that. Hopefully that's the last of them. You gotta be fucking kidding me. All right. All right. Fine. Square up. Square up. It's a fucking SWAT zombie. All right. Cracks neck. Walks up to zombie. Fucking instantly cuts their goddamn head off. Takes their antidepressants. <laughs> what are those potent? You got potent antidepressants right there? Now, I am gonna sleep here. You've accumulated enough experience. I've leveled up again. Uh, just reducing, dude, this stacks with my current perks. I think we take clean attack. This is going to stack with what I already have. Got to deal with that zombie, but he's taking a long time to get here. And I don't have a light source. All right. What do you want? Go away. Thank you for understanding. Is there another one? There's another one. There's always another one. Fuck off! Now if everyone's uh, understanding now, I'm gonna go to sleep. There's no more zombies. There's, there's no more zombies. <laughs> zombies aren't real anymore. They're all gone. We, we destroyed them. Let's get my energy back. We're gonna have to abandon the car if we don't find fuel somewhere in this building. No fans and butts about it. All right. Beautiful new day. Cool, a crowbar. Neato. Cigarettes. Does my character like those? No, my character likes coffee, which we've never found. Nice. I have to eat my other snacks soon. Good snack, though. Potent vitamins. Cereal. Love that. And another worthless street map. Alright. So, chat. 
Uh, we're leaving the car behind. We really don't have a choice. We have no fuel. So we're going up north to the unidentified place. Goodbye, Karchan. You did good for me. You helped me out. You saved me a couple of times, but alas. What's that about? A map fragment? Grocery store, hardware store, pharmacy. I'll add it to the map. Oh, yeah, those are really helpful to me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, right on. Those are just, you know, the opposite direction of the end of the game. Entirely as far away from me as possible. Right on. Okay. I'm gonna take some vitamins, because I have them. Actually, I don't want to use them yet. Those will last a while. That's like something we use if we're about to die. Let's ride. How's the durability on my X? Okay. The railroad. We're back on the trail. As long as we stay on the other side of the fence, we're relatively safe from zombies. Unless there's zombies in the fence, like on my side. Oh my god. We have multiple actual real zombies. Oh my fucking god. I don't know I'm here. Fuck, I'm wet. I'm getting involved in the battle. Bah. Papa. Beep, beep, bop. Those are my special sound effects. You cannot steal them. Those are my famous sound effects. Do not steal my sound. I mean, do we just gun it up the railroad farther? Kind of feeling like we gun up the railroad. Then again, this railroad is covered in zombies head to toe. Fuck out of my face. This place is fucking infested in zombies. Okay. Uh. Don't want to do that. But I am going to take potent vitamins now. Antidepressants now. It's a normal zombie. I can take a hit from him. All I did was cause some bleeding. It's okay. Okay, it's nighttime. Fuck me, dude. I love nighttime in this game. How do I use a bandage? Oh, that's a sprain. I don't actually have bandages. I've never had to make any. Oh. A 4 AP to craft. Um. Fuck, if it wasn't nighttime, I'd be willing to push on through this, but... I don't want to back up. Go back the way I came. All these zombies are fighting through these fences and stuff and don't really know where I am. And heal myself up and maybe go to that house instead. It's daytime. Mainly because I know this place is, like, cleared somewhat. I, I think some zombies can follow you through zones. But I gotta deal with this... It's pain. I have the AP right now. I should just craft it. Use it. You healed the beating, the bleeding. You have infection. Well, I also can heal that, so it's fine. Uh, okay. 
I already had a headache. Are back to a food situation. We probably don't want to follow the rails uh, a lot of the time. Seems like following the rails is a dumb idea. Oh, look at that whole horde of them. Could this be the hubris that kills me? Could this be it? Probably not. Uh, probably not. I said I don't really want to stay here, but I don't have the AP to climb this fucking fence! <laughs> I think there might be a zombie on me still. Okay, I'm on the other side of the fence. Nighttime sucks, dude. I hate nighttime because I don't have a functional flashlight. Stop! Fuck off! Take some medicine. Wanna take some medicine? Gonna wait one more. There's no way this guy gets to this fence before I leave. It's like 50, 60 health, those things. Okay. Let's go. Oh, a restaurant. That's convenient. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. My best bet is probably to like wait, but I'm like, I, I'm cold. Maybe I light a cool outdoor fire publicly for all the zombies to see so I can warm up. I'm not a pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah! What am I, some kind of coward? Screw up, fuckers! I gotta warm up! Wanna tango? Let's fucking tango. Warm up a tiny bit more, and then we're gonna go in. I don't really want to go, and it's still not like there we go. Hello. Locked. Fucking locked. Locked. I'm not inclined to just keep tink like trying to get through locked doors, so uh I'm gonna have to crack this one open if it doesn't open naturally. Oh <gasps> it's a dead rat! Oh, that's good eating. I'm gonna butcher that. Butcher that fucking eat it. A lot of food to grab. We got a lot of food to cook, Jet. We gotta stabilize. That rail that railroad thing really cost us a little. Let's grab all this crap. And we're harvesting a lot of food today. I can't do that. More food. More food. Rest. More food. More. More. We need even more. If you... Is it all rotten? You bet your ass it's all rotten. The smell is incredible. And by incredible, I mean incredibly disgusting. The wafting stench of this horrible concoction would kill most things that smell it, but not I. I would describe it as pungent, yes. It's a pungent odor. It's a dubious, a dubious smell. Uncanny stench. I do not know it's, I do not know exactly what causes this kind of smell to permeate through a room such the way it is it does, but it does. It's a bad smell. Uh, what's the best quality thing we have here? Very high here. Ditch. Uh, ditch. 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 Very good. What, is my guy just hungry? Is that what the problem is? Man, eat this chocolate bar. Eat this chocolate bar now. 
place is totally unoccupied. It's nice. Coffee! We love coffee. My guy hasn't had any since the beginning of the apocalypse. You have to cook some stuff. Fuck, I wish that other fire outside was still active because we don't actually have a... We don't have many more sources of fire. We have two more uses of a lighter. I'm hungry. Shut up, you're gonna be fine. Oh, is this all empty? Why not delete the thing then? Why why keep the salt in my inventory? Just like to show me. Alright. Fed. Feeling a little bit better. Also gonna drink my coffee that I own. Bruce Raid, what's up, Bruce? How you doing, man? How you fucking doing, man? Oh my god, it's been so long. Hope you're doing good, man. You're good, thanks for the raid. Congratulations, by the way. I, I saw on Twitter, I was, I was lurking. I was scrolling through like fucking five day old shit. And I, uh, I saw, uh, you and Autumn announced that you're having a kid. Congratulations, dude. Very cool. Very cool, man. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> now, now uh, that's exciting and all, but you know what's also exciting? Finding a rotten carrot inside this fucking box. I'm gonna cook that. I'm gonna whip that up. I'm gonna whip that up into another delicious snack. Oh, wait, I'm just dropping all this on the floor. Now I'm whipping it up. It's a fucking spirit. I, I, I need my character to sleep. I, need, I want him to sleep a little. But then it's going to be nighttime, and then I'm going to be miserable. I think no matter what, we can't leave this place until I repair a flashlight. I, I'm pretty sure that's just what it's looking like out here. Yeah, we're playing a game uh, a little bit like Zomboid, a little bit like uh, Cataclysm, if you know what Cataclysm is, for new people coming in. Uh, I'm playing Clifton, a firefighter that's trying to get to the other side of a big-ass fucking map. Right now I'm here, I'm trying to get to there. It's the safe zone at the end of the game. We've been doing very well for my first try, as is the customary case with every first try I do in a roguelike. I do remarkably well. And then uh, if I ever play it again after that, it's over. And I might as well uninstall it. So this is the one run. <laughs> if I die, I will never play it again. That I can assure you. Just so we're all on the same page. Wake up, Clifton. You have work to do at late, at late night hours. We have, we have to repair our flashlight. It's got charged, this one. It's time. It's time to do things. I'm gonna fix this. All right. One more cycle and it'll be ready. Looking good, man. All right. Fixed flashlight, 34% charge. Ditch the old one. And ditch that one too. Ditch all my alcohol, we don't need it. A map fragment, I already checked it. Dead rat, gotta butcher that, dude. Uh, how do I butcher this? Is it that easy? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. What is that, some rotten fucking meat? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. You know this right here? <laughs> this could change everything. This is bad rotten meat. I shouldn't eat this. 
I don't eat I don't eat bad meat anymore. We're above that. We only eat delicious meat made from only the finest freshly sourced ingredients. I carry too many butcher knives. I also don't really need a shotgun. My melee skills are insane. Uh, I am going to repair this a little more. 78. I don't want this to ever break, this fire axe. It's my, it is my survival right now, so. What time is it? 22? We have a lot of time before I have to sleep. Ah, I should have, I should have eaten that fucking poison meal because I could have slept off the disease overnight. That was foolish. Guess I'll just read. Is there a desk here? No, none of these count as actual reading desks. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Damn it. Scary music. I'm not, I'm not, ugh. I'm not sure on that. I wouldn't mind figuring out what this is before I go to it, because otherwise I have to commit to the railroad tomorrow, which was total shit. I'm gonna spend some AP figuring out what this is. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna swing by that. I reckon we're gonna go that way. Wait, makeshift armor? It can block one zombie attack. I mean, I'll use this. Well, I'm almost done with the thick book there. I got, I'll use this novel. This terrible novel. Yeah, fuck yeah. That'll save my life. I can't believe I've been neglecting these parts of my game. Tell us about the egg again. <laughs> Please, sir, tell us the story. Tell us the story about the egg. Please. You want me to tell you about the egg story? Which egg? <laughs> Which story are we talking about, kid? I'm ready to hear that story again. Tell you what, you ain't ready for it. Almost done with the thick book. And then I can turn that into armor too. <laughs> then, I, then I'll be able to turn that into armor. Health increased by one. Oh, yeah. All right. This book no longer has any true value to me other than as a crafting material. I might try to catch a, a couple more Zs. I want my energy high for tomorrow for the thing. For the dark work I have. I have to do with that grocery store. What egg? It's like... I don't need to do this again. There's a VOD for a reason. I don't want to talk about... I don't want to talk about no century egg crap. Okay. I'm going to the grocery store. There are clips. There's documentation. There's evidence of wrongdoing left and right. I did nothing wrong. Personally, I've been nothing but a good guy and a good friend across the board. This entire egg story, I did nothing wrong. Okay. TLDR tomato gaslighted someone so hard they ate a disgusting old egg. They gas the chat. I was the gas. I was gaslit first. I was fooled and deceived, okay, by someone I trusted. It is not my fault that I escalated and Uno reversed fucking hard. <laughs> and somehow came out on top. All right, that's not my fault. No, that's my fault. I'll never apologize for that. Not at once in my entire life am I gonna apologize for that. No way. No way, the feud continues. I'm in.
Tool parts and cigarettes. There's zombies all over the place. Man, I'm gonna have to thin these zombies out. I can't just leave them all here. There's a lot of them. Mayhaps we go this way. You know there's a zombie right here. Go get him. What's up, idiot? Dispatched in one swing. Locked. I could break it down, but it's gonna make noise. Easy. We're in. I run the kitchen. I have no reason to go fight those three if they're to the south. This is gonna be in an in and out job. Stay here. Oh, sweater. Hammer, compression bag, more alcohol to drop. Do you need, I need? Oh, hello there. What's up? You thought you were safe. I'm the monster in this game. I'm not gonna check whatever's there. I don't think there's anything there that's gonna be of value. My dog's barking. Painkillers, coffee. Coffee's huge. Getting hungry. I don't have any way to light another fire, though, is the problem. Cigarettes, frying pans, nothing of... I need to, I need to empty out some of my inventory. Then again, I could always just eat the rotten food. <laughs> nothing, nothing's stopping me from just eating rotten food. To be, to be clear. That's never been a concern. Dog, stop barking. Self-respect? I can worry about self-respect when I survive. I survive the apocalypse. I make it out of here alive. All right. Then I can worry about goddamn self-respect. Till then? Yeah, right. Oh. Till then? I don't need none of that. Oh. Where the hell am I anyways? We're so close now. Take that? Getting really close. That zombie didn't even see me. I'd like to get to the next place before the sun sets. Library. Dude, dude, just climbing this fucking car. Let's let's dash on out of here. What do you fucking mean? Library. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not staying here. This car's broken, but that's okay. It's got canned ham in it. <laughs> None of that matters. It's got canned ham inside. Lumber. If we got fuel, we can actually take this all the rest of the way. I think to the end. That is so lucky. I just gotta repair it. And I own a wrench. Okay. I just have to check uh, using the directions. Huh. There's. It's forking. We have a 50% chance of being correct. I'm gonna gamble on it being this way. But before I do, I'm gonna get my AP back. I'm gonna take Pathfinder, dude. Less AP used per movement? It's insane. Not really sure how I feel about doing this stuff at night, though. But I also don't feel great about sleeping outside. I don't really want to break this. I'd like to sleep inside. Let's kill the zombie. Keep it quiet. Ugh. There's a broken window there. Ah, fuck. I didn't actually want to loot this place. What the fuck is that? What the hell was that? It was really slow. Definitely saw me. 
Yeah, it's gonna come over here. Oh boy, here we go, dude. I'm gonna have to kill him. Fine. It's Dango. Look out of here. Where's the other one? That zombie. Jesus, dude. Anyways, I don't know how to stress how strong I am to these fucking idiots. I've played Cataclysm. I know how to space my fucking resources to take down everything before it can hit me. This game can't stop me. Do I look like a fool? 4% durability? <laughs> On my backup axe. Switches to real axe. <laughs> Yeah, on my garbage axe I've been using since the beginning of the game that I've been letting break. That guy gro dropped a canned meal. I want it. All right. Maybe they'll let me sleep now. Problem is they'll be able to walk in here. But I know this is a self-contained small room. So what I'm gonna do is close this door. Fuck, come on, dude. Leave me alone. I could probably catch a couple Z's before they get here. <laughs> I, I got time to catch like catch like a quick Z. I got time to catch like one. Oh. They don't even know I'm in this room. See? They don't even know I'm in this one. See? They don't even know I'm in this one. Owned again. When the sun rises, I too will rise. My small meat is going stale, Sin. No. <laughs> no. I gotta catch the last of this sleep. It's so important while I'm safe fish. All right, thrill. Get up. Part of me wants to check the rest of this building, or like any of it, but it's a library. I don't think it's gonna give me anything that good. We want to leave. Let's leave. Besides, this place is fucking infested by zombies at this point. The railroad. Oh yeah, stop right here. Very good. All right, I'm gonna have to take the uh, adrenaline shot. Yeah, stop your fucking car right here, my guy. Park next to them and climb out of it. Uh, this is why I have adrenaline. Cracks neck. It's time. It's time to end this. Increases AP recovery by six and sleep quality by 60%. If I don't kill all these guys in like one cycle, I think we're dead. Pop. Okay. Go up here. Do I have painkillers? I like it is interesting that the painkillers in this game seem to cause pain looking at the uh looking at the description I would have assumed the game's painkillers would reduce the pain maybe like dehydrate me or make me hungrier but for some reason these cause more pain they're they, that's not ideal but it makes me ignore the status ailment. So I guess in this case, 
I'll still be feeling the pain. I'll just be able to ignore the pain, which is kind of what I want right now. So let's take it. Those guys didn't notice. Cool. I am not confident that I can drive a car vertically into this train tunnel, but I'm gonna fucking try it because I still have fuel. We can't go. Is it not gonna let me? If I go this way, I might still be able to take the car. Besides, if we take the trail, the train track is just going to be enemies. Let me go wide. At least here there's houses. Crawlers? Get in my face. Alright, this might be one of the last places we search. Coffee? Love it. We need we need a way to light. Oh, we do have a lighter. Okay, we got two sources of it. Awesome. We really needed that. Because uh, I need to cook some of this food. We got coffee. We got nut. Oh, we're getting tons of coffee at the end of this. Dude, that's huge right now. Our morale is going to be... We basically need to rest here and like buy our time like bide our time until we can just bum rush it to the end of the game i think at this point uh genuinely hang on i'm gonna upgrade i'm gonna toss this to 100 percent so it never breaks very good jack here's the thing my tool is never broken and it's doing so much damage because I have high proficiency in it. So my fire axe is doing 50% more damage than the normal thing. On top of that, I have bonus to head attack damage because of my perks. I'm basically stacked if I never run out of stamina during a fight. If I run out of AP, I'm fucked. But I'm very, very well off right now. I just gotta, I just gotta cook a bunch of food. Make sure I ditch his headache. We're gonna loot this place. I don't know if that crawler can get in. Hello. Sir. Fuck out of my building! I'm playing! on this window. This will be the hideout room. This will be where we live our lives. Chips. Machete. Don't need it. I'm gonna cook a bunch of food in here. Sun's about to set. Pretty good break here, I think. Let's, we don't have a place to sleep in here anyways, so we're just gonna light a fire here. We got oodles of stuff to burn. Like that. This garbage book I've already read, burn that. There's some of this, burn that. All right. Let's whip up a quick meal. Actually, honestly, whip up every meal we still have if we have the AP. We're horribly depressed. It's the worst. Oh, it's got to be so fucking depressing to succeed constantly, dude. Ooh, it's got to be rough. All right. Let's save some of these for a rainy day. Although, actually, doing the math with how much map left here, hmm, it might be okay. 
and cook one more. We'll cook one more. There. We'll go with four. Because I'm gonna eat one right now. Alright. Gonna sleep. Morale will go up when we sleep. And right when we're gunning it for the end of the game, we'll chug two cups of coffee and my guy will be super, ch like, super happy about it. He's gonna love that. Morale climbing extremely quickly. Okay. Energy's back up. Let's see if there's anything we can craft. These stack. And at this point, I'm not reading any more of these books. So fuck this. I'm turning these into more armor. I'm gonna turn these all into more armor and get myself a lot of coverage. I'm also going to make some more makeshift bandages. Once I have the AP. Because I do not want to get caught out bleeding at the end of all this. Two makeshift bandages. Rest again. Sleep for another hour. Fill up my energy a second time. Wake back up. Go back into my inventory, craft again, because we're also going to make a... We're going to save the last one, the last duct tape, because we want to make sure we can repair our axe if it gets crazy. Eat some chips. And some nuts. There we go. All right. It's time. And go to the car. We're gonna see if we can discover the path out. Fuck, we have to take the railroad the rest of the way. Okay, we're gonna drive there. Fill up our AP. Get that coffee in me. We are the happiest we can be. We are well fed, we're energized, we're ready go to the railroad and we're going straight north. I hate that we spawned on this side. But we'll have enough AP to clear this and kill the guy here. Okay, those guys didn't respawn. The trick is if you move confidently, you save AP. So I'm gonna move confidently during this part. The tunnel. How much light do I have? <laughs> 9%, 14%, oh, huge. Okay, we got plenty. Wow, look at all that debris. They did warn me this would happen. But it looks like I can squeeze through some of it. And there we go. So it's now a, it looks like it's like a race. It's actually like, I mean, I have a shovel. So that'll save me some time. Cause I have tool expertise. Yep. All right, debris cleared. We keep moving through the tunnel. Go. We just have to get there, and we are out of this place. Fuck out of my face. The fuck out of my face. Rest here a minute. Crawling guys can't move that fast on the ground. They won't be able to reach me. Killing you because I dislike you. <laughs> Ah, 
I don't know if this game's gonna throw some fuck you, you still have to like get past a thousand enemies thing, but if I just fucking first tried another goddamn roguelike, you guys know I'm like the best gamer fucking ever, all right? I don't know what else to say. Other than double down on the fact that uh, I've only played two hours of this game and I've only played 144 minutes ever. I'm just saying, dude. I'm, I'm just saying, dude. I'm, I'm just saying. Oh my God! <laughs> the zombies! They're real! I start blasting. I have adrenaline for a reason, sir. How much does it cost to travel over a fence? Not sure yet. Those guys haven't all noticed. I'm gonna do now. Still have the adrenaline. What we do. I want... They're too spread out right now. I don't think I have enough AP without taking one turn to regen to actually make it over. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move here. Oh, they're covering me. Okay, that makes this way easier. <laughs> I thought I'd have to actually do this on my own. Oh no, they're just gonna save me. Cool, I, I, I was ready to, to do this myself. They're saving my life! They're saving my life! Well, I'm gonna wait another turn then. <laughs> what are you, what, I'm just gonna like, I'll just wait another turn, man, and get my AP back. Thank you. Dude, stop attacking that fence. <laughs> Guys, stop. I'm dying of uh, exposure right now. Well. What's up, guys? <laughs> Bye. Oh, 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 oh. I can't do that. I would need 1.5 AP. I have 0.1 AP. You think they're going to dislike me more if I shoot myself up with... High dose adrenaline? No, we don't know if this is the end. There's no way I'm gonna do that yet. There's no way I'm about to do that when I don't know if this is the end. I'm not about to shoot up my get out of jail free card. It's as simple as that, baby. It's as, it's, all I'm gonna say is it's as simple as that. You can clap now. You can clap now. The ultimate tactical gamer. Who wins first try in every rogue like he's ever played, except for Dome Keeper. Fuck that one, though. For real, though. Except for Dome Keeper and Noida <laughs> and some others, but I mean, Pobody's nerfic. Do you know what I mean? That was fun. I like this game. I like this game. This game's a fun one. This is a this is a good game. This game's a good game right here. Good one. I actually expected it would uh, I expected it would take me longer. Dude, honestly though, you gotta give me some credit. I ignored uh, evidently most of the mechanics in the video game. Uh, you gotta give me some credit where credit's due. I did ignore almost everything in the video game and beeline, like just straight up bum rush to the terminus. Right on, dude. Right on. I know what's up. So I unlocked new occupations. I unlocked athlete, security guard, student. Oh, I guess everyone else in the building died in the Terminus because I'm the only one that made it. I'm the only one. There's one guy in Terminus, it's me. I'm just like, what the fuck? They, everyone promised. 
didn't save anyone, Satch. I didn't have a choice. It's not like the, the one survivors I met were like, we don't fucking trust you. We literally won't let you into our house. Like, I, I did not have a choice. Is my streamer a loser? No, I just won. Why are you guys trying to rewrite history? I'm not a loser. I literally won the game. My achievement says survive as the the firefighter. I won the game. Don't you copium? Oh my god. Oh my god. It says number of survivors one. The one guy I made it out of there with. What do you fucking mean? It's got a golden badge on it. Because they won. This game really, chat, I'll tell you what though, this game really wants you to play it over and over again. And I kind of like that because um, I, there's no way I can get some of this end game stuff and the game straight up doesn't give you enough points to get the later game stuff without beating it at least seven or eight times. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. I feel bad that all the streams have been around like three, three hours and like 40 minutes lately, but I feel like doing another run. I would not have enough juice in me to finish the whole thing. And um, I won. I fucking conquered it so easily as always, as always, no one is shocked. No one is shocked. No one is surprised. I'm a God gamer. I'm, I'm one of the best. I'm one of the best. I'm one of the best out there. God, he's fucking good at this. Yeah, I know, I know. But yeah, that was Terminus. Uh, I'm going to chalk up the shorter stream today to uh, the fact that tomorrow is going to be me and Dave playing the Minecraft thing that I've been talking about. We're going to do FTB Inferno, which is going to be unbelievably cursed and fun. So uh, that'll be... A longer stream, most likely, because we'll be descending deep into the nether. Uh, that's going to, like, that's not like playing rustic seas or rustic waters. That is a cursed RPG themed, like adventure themed mod pack. That's, that's going to be a brutal nightmare. I'm going to set it on a hard difficulty. We won't do, we won't do hardcore because obviously stuff can break. But uh, that'll be that'll be a cursed, a cursed time. I reckon. But yeah, thank you for coming on by. Thank you for coming on by. Can you show us some of those scenarios? I showed them at the beginning of the stream. Uh, but some of the other ones are like, oh, you don't have uh, there's no f like stuff inside special places. Uh, dangerous places have tripled. Uh, it's colder. None of them are that, like, crazy or unique. But, yeah. Thank you very much if you donated to Gifted Subs or any stuff like that. I'd really appreciate it. As always, chat as always. Uh, Bruce, thank you for the raid, man. Thanks, Benji, as well, for the raid on top of that. Really appreciate it. All right, chat. Tomorrow, 3 p.m. ish EST. Uh, I'm not doing D&D &D tomorrow. So it'll be, it'll be pretty much, uh, probably run past eight. It'll probably be a later thing. So get excited, get excited. Tomorrow's going to be cursed as hell. See you then. Mm, goodbye.